No other place in the world like our city. We're unique, vibrant, and a little unexpected. We're so much more than sand, surf, and sports. We're for telling local tales, unearthing hidden gems, and sharing the stories of spectacular people. As a young city in transformation, the best is yet to come. We are Gold Coast. Okay, good morning ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, Helen's Bowl Bowl Club, where uh, this morning we're bringing you the semi-finals of the state mixed pairs. Uh, beautiful conditions here at the moment, slightly overcast, uh, nice little breeze blowing, and I'd say at the moment, uh, Bobby Green running all winning around about 14, 14 and a half seconds, absolutely beautiful pace for these great players, and uh, a uh, big introduction to my co-commentator is going to tell you the uh, people who are participating this morning to uh, Peter Hutchins. How are you, Peter? G'day, Brian. How are you going, mate? Good, mate. What a beautiful morning, Peter, for bowls. It's excellent, mate. 21 degrees, expected high of 24. We've got a southerly at 22 kilometres an hour and maybe a possible rainfall, but uh, fingers crossed, Brian. That's for sure. Now, on week three, we have Jane Bush and Dale McWinnie Shillington versus Heather Hodson and Eric Johansson. On a rink five, we have Liz Walton and Aaron Scherf. And Jessica C. Sumley Bay, Bay and Jacob Nelson. Some great teams there, mate, who have made it all the way through to uh, this business end of the, uh, the, the uh, competition. And uh, as you see here, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Johansson has just drawn an absolute pearler here. Uh, playing basically a full length, they're uh, playing on rink, rink three. Um, Dale McWinnie Shillington, of course, is playing his um, his first bowl also as the leads have um, set the head up pretty good. And I'll tell you what, Dale's played a great bowl here. He's just going to get the wrong side of Eric, but uh, a great second shot there, Peter. So well, right, good shot, wasn't it? Very well weighted, yeah. mate. So it's quite quite a uh, a long length too. Uh, very early in the game, um, they're playing, they're just on their second end, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh, and that's the fact that made Eric change his hands there, Peter, he's gone to the forehand. Yeah, he, uh, you know, it's probably uh, a little bit of a tactician's uh, moves early on in the game. Yeah, great try there, mate, he had a beautiful line coming in there, didn't he, you know, but, uh, you know, once again, though, look, I mean, you look at these players who have been playing the last two days in this competition because uh, this morning they've come to Club Helensvale for the semi-finals and the finals but already they've picked up the pace of the green by the looks of it so it's uh, going to be a great day of bowls uh, with um, some great players out here so looking forward to bringing it to you ladies and gentlemen and uh, a big uh, thank you and a big call out to our technical advisor Robbie Allen who's got us all up and running so uh, thank you very much Robbie another once again made a superb job so um, we've got um, Jane Bush just playing her first bowl. She's playing the forehand away from the car park, playing back towards the club rooms at uh, Helen Bowl Bowls Club. And again, it's gee, what well, well, it's not a bad bowl there, mate. But uh, no. a bit unlucky. She just got the wrong side of the pole. But no damage. It probably well, Eric had third shot anyway. So I reckon Dale's probably got second shot with his bowl. And I reckon that black back bowl, I think, would be shot from here by the camera angle anyway, Peter. Yeah, uh, Heather Hudson on the mat now. Heather comes from Paradise Point. Yeah, well, they come from a good cross-section of the bowling community, don't they? The, um, all four players in the semi-final. Um, Aaron, of course, playing with his mother-in-law. And um, Jacob Nelson and young Jesse. Uh, of course, Jacob's a member of um, the current state team. And I'll tell you what, he's just, oh, just going to cut. Yeah, he's caught up there, mate. Caught up on that front yeah. bowl. Jacob, of course, is one of our up-and-coming up young Queenslanders. He's only uh, he's in the Queensland under 25 as well as the Open team. And... Young Jesse, of course, is, uh, is in the same category. So it's good to see people think bowls is an old man's game. We've certainly proven wrong, aren't we? Yeah, haven't we? We certainly are. Was Jane in with hers? Oh, oh gee whiz, that's unlucky. She's just got the wrong side of that uh, on that bowl there. But Eric still uh, is quite happy for Heather to play the uh, forehand here. And, of course, as we all know, Heather uses a bowling arm. So it's great to see someone with a uh, bowling arm making it this far in the competition, Peter. It certainly is. Um, Heather currently uses a Drake Pride, which uh, comes out of uh, Bendigo. Yes, okay. Um, yeah. And she's been a member of Paradise Point for a few years. She certainly has. She, uh, she's a, wow, what a great bowl there. It's 
probably that bowl of beans, I can probably still be second shot though. It's yeah, uh, no, sorry, Dale, I should say. <laughs> Dale, I should say. Uh, Dale has yeah, just indicated that he's only one down, so it'd be interesting to see if uh, Dale sticks to his forehand or maybe, yeah, I think he'd probably have to just there. I think that yellow bowl there just out at, say, uh, five past one, maybe just a little bit in his way, but uh, we'll see what he's made his mind up. Still having a bit of a look down the other end, so he says, no, I'm going to play my forehand. Yeah, that bowl indicated there. The yellow one probably in his eye there, mate, I reckon. Probably in his eye, so yeah. like Peter, I think so, but he's got this very well grasped and it's uh, starting to work now. If he gets the inside of his yellow bowl, he'll probably get Eric's bowl like that. Bang, bang. <laughs> what a great bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what a great bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was, uh, that was a beautiful bowl, that Peter. It was played with beautiful weight just to get the inside slide off that, but uh, it was there to be played. It certainly was. Well, Eric's having a bit of a look yeah. at this. No, no result there, no mate. result, no, no result. As you know, uh, Eric, of course, is a former South African international, and he's uh, he was the, uh, if I remember it correctly, when he moved there quite a few years ago, he was the uh, bowls coordinator at the Gorilla Bowls Club down in New South Wales, and uh, since he's come to Paradise Point, he, from what I've been told, he's made a great uh, contribution towards that club, uh, Peter, but his bowling ability is very well known these days on the Gold Coast, mate, and... Uh, Everybody loves playing against him because he's such a great competitor and such a great bowler. And um, as these all these top players do, they uh, they want to play against the best all the time. And uh, everybody rates uh, Eric Johannes in that category. So uh, a great uh, ambassador for our sport. And a gentleman to boot, mate. He certainly is, my friend. Unless he gets beaten, mate, then he's not too happy. I'm telling you. But he's only <laughs> joking. He's a great, he's a great guy. Eric, he really is. And uh, I'm going to say you can put a lot in that category. <laughs> Yeah, only about 100% of all bowlers. So <laughs> well, there's more like 120, Brian. Mate, well, being a green <laughs> keeper, aside, being a green keeper, though, my friend, I know I normally have a 50% success rate every day. And one of those winners ever turned on me, mate. My uh, success rate then dwindles rapidly. <laughs> but Eric's now going to try and draw it, I think, by the forehand. I don't think he's wide enough for this one. No, mate, it looks a bit narrow. Yeah, yeah. So. He's cutting across the head now. Very uncharacteristic of Eric. He normally plays with um, beautiful grass line, but uh, anyway, it's probably two there, I reckon. Oh, that yellow bow there again, not too sure. Yeah, it's hard to tell from this angle, isn't it? It is. Yeah. You just get... with the sun there, too, on the bowls, you know, it's just, uh, it's very hard to tell. But, um, anyway, it gives a lady something to do. They normally like measuring, so... <laughs> It is a very hard one to judge this one, though. When in doubt, ladies and gentlemen, as I've said to everybody, when in doubt, put a tape on it. If you doubt it, put a tape on it. I think it is two bollocks of that. Uh, the the there you go. The well, ladies and gentlemen, just while we're uh, there, this uh, this live streaming is brought to you by the Gold Coast Tweed Media Team and by Bowles Queensland and the City of Gold Coast and um, Club Helensville, of course. So we can't speak more highly enough of, uh, of this, the uh, Gold Coast City Council who have um, helped um, helped us be here today to uh, fund this wonderful event and we appreciate all the support that uh, the Gold Coast Council does for Lawn Bowls. Uh, being the president of the Gold Coast District, I know they put a hell of a lot in the Lawn Bowls and, uh, and they do a great job. So thank you very much as all councils do around Queensland. They're all trying to uh, promote our great sport and keep people active and uh, Keeping them in the game of bowls, so well done. And to Club Helen as well, and a special thank you too to the umpires and green keepers and the bar staff and everybody involved who over this uh, quite hectic few weeks on the Gold Coast with the uh, district sides last week and uh, of course the state titles this week. It's been, uh, it's been one heck of a, uh, a week so far and we've got another two weeks to go, Peter. So uh, plenty of work to be done yet. Yeah, it's certainly a busy time if you if you look at your calendar schedule. There's actually 28 days scheduled over the two two months, the month of May and June. So that's a, a hell of a lot of bowls. No, that's for sure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying this telecast, as we've always said, can you please share it and get it out there with everybody so we can um, get more people watching this great game of ours. And uh, it's going to be a full day of bowls today, ladies and gentlemen. So um, if you can share it as many times as, as you can, so I uh, would appreciate that. 
Bit of deliberation here with the uh, the umpires with these two shots, man. Must be very close, and as I said before, mate, when in doubt, always always put a measure on it. Uh, Jane indicating one shot there. So Jane and uh, Dale, one shot. One shot. Yep. Uh, this would be. Uh, and just for those of you, I said that's um, that's uh, two. To Dale and Jane on the second end, and for those who want an update on the other rink on uh, rink five, it's one all on two ends, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I really do anticipate two very close matches here, uh, Peter. I think we've got quality bowlers on both sides, and um, I think you'll find that there's going to be um, some really great bowls played. I'm sure, will be, mate. I. Uh you know, the uh, standard that uh, these players are at is uh, beyond reproach. And um, Look at Jane's first bowl here, yeah. mate. You know, she's played this pretty well for a first up, maybe just a little bit heavy, so but anything behind the head, but the grass line looks to be spot on, so a bit of rush of uh, adrenaline through there, so uh, as we see Heather playing her first bowl, she's sticking to the forehand too, by the looks of it, Peter. Yeah, she's got a good, good action, Heather, with her, with her arm, but... Um, I've spoken too quickly. Unfortunately, uh, she's cut the head on that shot and um, maybe a bit of nerves, mate. Maybe a bit of nerves, mate. Yeah, yeah. commentators curse there too, my friend. <laughs> 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 we'll look the other way, will we? Really. <laughs> <laughs> Jane's on this very well grass once again. <laughs> just see how she's changed her weight if she's corrected. And by the looks of this, I think she's corrected not too badly at all. It's not a bad bowl there right on the line, probably just... Uh, Two foot in front of the head. That's the bowl that uh, can be used. Heather yeah, won't uh, won't make the same mistake with this shot. That's for sure. No. Well, uh, you said we're going into the third end now, so you know they should be starting to get a little bit uh, acclimatised to the conditions. And I must say to uh, to Luke Wade and his team here at uh, Hamlinsville Valley he's done a superb job on preparing this green. They had a bit of rain overnight, as uh, everybody did on the Gold Coast. Uh, some showers and uh, we had a, bit, a few studs for the last few days and as you can see when the bowl falls over like that ladies and gentlemen uh, your greens are normally running a bit quicker than 14 seconds so if you achieve that after 7 mil of rain overnight that's a uh, pretty good effort in my opinion so uh, we see the two skips go to the head and of course they will have first bowl here and um, We'll see what uh, he's going to play his forehand, I assume. He's got a nice little draw in there, uh, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, he's, the grass is not too bad, mate. Let's see uh, what sort of weight he's got there. I think he's played this pretty well. I think his, weight, his weight's pretty good by the looks of this one here, Peter. A great looking ball there, yeah. mate. And a toucher. Yeah. He certainly adjusted the ball there. Yes, it's a great first up bowl. So um, once you get to my age, you do that your first one, you know it's downhill all the way from there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Really do, <laughs> but Eric, of course, he's. Uh, <laughs> I'd never write Eric Johannes off. He's a uh, very good bowler, but uh, it looks as though he's just blowing a bit of smoke on this one. A little bit light on, but uh, his grass line is absolutely spot on. So I expect to see a bit of correction out of Eric with his second bowl. As Dale's now playing his second bowl as he follows it to the head, so he must like it. But, uh, mm, he's just starting to cut, mate. No, I think he's going to. Run into those balls in front, or he's no, the he's got the clean the gap. Found the gap. Well, yeah, it's hard to tell. There's one or two, but uh, I think it's they're too far away, so it's not to worry about at this early stage of the end. So, and uh, Eric's got this very well out there in actual fact. Is this going to depend upon his weight now? Coming down, pretty good boys. Definitely second shot. Second there, shot there. Yeah. Yeah. So he's done his job. He's got second shot. As our hard-working chairman of our match committee, Bowles Queensland walks past. Mr. Ron Summerall. <laughs> Doing a great job, Ronnie, as always. <laughs> uh, as I said, the match committee of Bowles Queensland, Peter, they often get criticised, but the amount of work these guys put into uh, running these events, mate, it's an absolute credit to them. It certainly is. Um, it really is. I know Ronnie, and uh, Ronnie puts a hell of a lot of effort into it. And, uh, he certainly does, Peter. You know, uh, he and his team, they do a superb job at Ringham here. And, uh, they've got a big few weeks. Uh, most of them stay down here um, for the period of time, uh, running the event. So. And uh, a lot of lifetime membership. Uh, Bowles, please, yeah. very much deserved, yeah. 
As Jones just played her bowl, she skips his first bowl. She's going to be pretty close to it, I tell you. She's played an absolute beautiful bowl here. Just in behind the head. Great to have Chrissy Pavloff and uh, Dino. Dino, start mowing some green, son. Sammy, how are you? Tell us who you want to bury for. Colleen, how are you? And Captain Cartwright, again, a uh, great stalwart of the Gold Coast District. There's a lot of time, the former Ladies District President and uh, Numpire and uh, Clinton Bailey. Mate, shouldn't you be at work, Clinton? Uh, we have uh, Heather just being a little bit wide, probably about uh, three foot through the head there, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, Eric's still only one down. He's got second shot with that bowl of his there, just Jack High. As uh, James got her next bowl. Coming down pretty nicely. She's gets these front ones again, Pete. She's going to be pretty yeah. close to the monkey. He's past it. Yeah, it just slips past. Yeah, it's the green's running on nicely there, mate. Like yeah, it is, isn't it? After a bit of rain there last night, mate, you expect it to be a little bit uh, doughy, but it's yeah. running beautifully, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah, we sort of had trickle through the night, but yeah. probably enough just to uh, put the green slightly. As Ted is playing her next bowl, it's her last bowl, and I think she could be a little bit under none with this one. She sneaks through that gap. Has she got the skill that Eric's got? She has. <laughs> <laughs> She's been <laughs> the hole, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so Eric's only the one down on the head, and no. I. He's probably his. No, I'd say that yellow bowl, maybe third shot. It's hard to tell from here because the camera angle. What looks up from here, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, cameras are a little bit uh, behind the rink, so it's pretty hard to tell. So, uh, particularly with the shadows sitting straight across the bowl. <laughs> uh, I, I was wondering whether they were going to move Heather on there. <laughs> well, Dale, Dale didn't do his form here, do you? So, uh, if you see the uh, bowl coming in there now, it's coming there, and he's got it grasped very well. Here's his weight control. Absolutely spot on from what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm brilliant, mate, brilliant. It's a great bowl by the young Dale, Nick Winnie Shillington. Of course, Dale was uh, one of the uh, the members of the uh, victorious, uh, victorious uh, Gold Coast team, so he's had a big four days of bowls with that. He had a day off, and uh, no doubt was out mowing greens with his mum, and um, then he's back into it. Oh, not quite, Eric. No. I'd say that Dale will probably be holding two shots there. Yeah, it looks pretty like that, mate, doesn't it? Um, he... Uh Coming down with his next shot. Yeah, and what's he done here, Brian? He's got the weight. Yeah, he's definitely got the weight to reach. Yeah. He's just going to turn his back pole over. Not oh. Oh. Come to a very good home there, though. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's still in a great position there if, uh, if the jet comes to the rear. Now, yeah, Eric's got a really draw, dead draw with his last pole. I've seen him do this plenty of times, but the commentators could curse on that one. He's a bit wide, mate. He is a bit wide, mate. Yeah. A bit unusual. Well, I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, I've spoken to most of the bowlers here this morning, and uh, they've all assured me there's not too many. There's not too many of them reckon they're uh, morning people, uh, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Brian? I, I, I am. <laughs> I know that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I must prefer the morning than the night these days, mate. Yes. You know, I laughed the other day. Some, I think Robbie said to me, "You know, it should be a good night." I said, "Mate, pass my bedtime." He said, You've got to be joking, <laughs> So trouble with Robbie's too young. That's it. That's it. So we've got uh, James, of course, having won the end. Uh, with Dale, is now thrown uh, pretty much a full-length end here, uh, Peter. Uh, you can see the two just going, uh, the jack going on the two there. So it's uh, it's pretty much they're, they're persisting on this long end, aren't they? Uh, they certainly are. They seem to be working from at this day, so, you know. Well, it's not a good thing to stick to it, Brian. Well, Jane just has changed her head. He's just gone to the back end. And she's uh, played it pretty well first up, too. Just a bit long, but uh, always useful when they stay in the game. Not too news, mate. It's uh, the sun just creeping across there. He's got a bit of warmth in it, too, mate. It has got a bit of warmth in it, too. And you see the wind, the flags are just starting to pick up. So, uh, you know, you can see conditions change throughout the day, ladies and gentlemen. But there's quality players, I'm sure. As we see, Heather's first bowl. She's uh, got a very well grasped over there. Yeah, and she's got a couple of things. Three from short, I guess, she's there in her foot. So, 
Yeah, that's the, uh, that wind in the afternoon certainly can change things around, but uh, yes, no, that's for sure. Comes off Discovery Drive here and uh, crosses and then gets out in the middle there and spoils a bit. It's pretty typical of that. Oh, what a great ball here, mate. Oh, what a beautiful ball by Jane. Jane Wilson played a beautiful collection there, absolutely beautiful ball. So, can't argue with that. Yeah, they're better on the match, you've got a swing down the match. You want to change the hand. Just a little bit more weight on here, mate, just to creep up on that bowl of James. Got a very well balanced ball, too. It's not going to be too far away. Oh, great ball. You know what a great shot there, mate? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. It is a great ball, it's better than that. Well, four out. Well, that's a good morning, Fraser. Glad to have you on board, my friend. My honour, hope you enjoyed the bowls from Townsville. And, uh, Mike, hope you enjoyed the bowls from Emma. Lena, I said you once before, mate. Great ball in the world. Yeah. Sheila, at least. Come on, come on, come on, Sheila. Take a word. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Ball here. We yeah, have John Watson from Canada. G'day, John. Hope you've joined the telecast. Oh, what a great pick up there. Looking forward to seeing you in, uh, when you're coming down the Gold Coast, mate, in two weeks. So, uh, we're live streaming anywhere, John. Coming out of the Arthurs, we introduce yourself and, uh, and we'll show you exactly what the setup is. G'day, Margaret. Hope you uh, enjoyed the telecast. And Gabby, great to have you on board. So, uh, keep these comments coming through, ladies and gentlemen. If there's any questions that you'd like uh, answered, I'm sure Robbie Allen can uh, point you in the right direction. And last one, mate, uh, Eric picked up the jack and it's uh, in the ditch. Yeah, it's coming with a bit of uh, weight on that jack last one. Great idea, buddy, Eric. Dale, man, trying to draw it in the ditch, so it's just going to crash you. Yeah, a bit of weight to get the craft of the air, just as more, and it's a bit of a rubber gun. Screen there, mate. No, it's on its way, mate. Here it comes. Here it goes. A great camera angle there. Yeah. Just fell in the ditch. Might be a swimmer. Well, you know, like I mean, a lot of times, though, it's, you're better off being in the ditch. At least you're giving it a chance to reach. You know, like I mean, it's frustrating when you see club bowlers who the top bowlers practice this all the time, yeah. and they go out and do and do training and. Um, they practice drawing to the ditch, and you're better off being in the ditch than pulling up. There's nothing more frustrating when uh, you're playing in the kiddies in the ditch and you see someone pull up four foot short. It's, you know, to me, that's just uh, unforgivable because you, you know you've got to give your bowl that opportunity to get there. You certainly do. I, uh, I definitely know I'm not a master at it, but more practice than mine. Well, I'm a firm believer in also turn over. Like in my days, I've gone in bowling, but I still enjoy playing their break game. But uh, you can't be knocked up if you're not short, I guess. But uh, when you're four foot short, you're too far out. See the great ball there by Jane, probably just out of the equation, I assume. Um, I guess that bowl of Eric's in the ditch, of course, because it cuts the kitty is still alive, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't understand the game. And if your bowl touches the kitty and goes into the ditch, your bowl is still alive. Gotta come on down on her forehand. Her backhand, my friend. Hang on. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. You're looking at the wrong way. <laughs> 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 I'll try the screen over. See, you watch this plate is very, very well, though, uh, Peter. Look at that. She's drawn second shot there. That's uh, pulled up, ladies and gentlemen, probably about uh, 18 inches to two foot just in front of the, uh, the toucher in the ditch. Great ball from Heather. Yes, absolutely. So we'll uh, go and apologise to her later. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, James played this pretty damn well too, mate. Look at this for a great ball. Well, yeah, the great ball. Dale says it's second shot, so uh, quite happy with that one. Yeah, well done. Great ball there. Sheila, we'll send you some sun, sun up there, mate. Not a problem in the world. Fiona Hall, how are you? Hope you enjoyed the telecast. G'day, Margaret. Colin Bray, how are you? Yes, Gabby, it was a great bowl there by Heather. As um, last one just pulled up a bit short, as the skips will go now and do their bit as they're walking down. 
So, uh, interesting to see what Eric plays here, mate. If he uh, tries the dead draw, or if he may play the forehand and goes looking for uh, James. I think it's too much traffic for him to go looking for James' last ball, but maybe Dale might have got a couple of shots on there on his forehand. But uh, anyway, we'll see uh, what the skips are happy to play with. Yeah, it's good to get through there. They get to, to James' bowl there. No, it certainly is. Yeah, no, so it certainly is. It, uh, it'll be interesting. Yes. No, it's, uh, Dale, of course, got first bowl. It looks as though he's standing on the map to play his backhand there, uh, Peter. So. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. I do. Come with those first mates. But, you know, I tell you what, I think he likes this. He's coming down after it. So he's played it very, very well. How's his weight? I think he might be swimming, mate. Oh, I'm lucky. Got, see what he's playing for, though. He's just going yes. to rock that ball out. Yep. And he would have sat there for two shots. So <laughs> he played it beautifully. Oh, Eric's going to have a bit of a look at this bowl by lots of things. Well, let's change the head because he's actually taken out his third shot now, so but he's still got it. Well, not really. Uh, Dale doesn't have to change much. He's got uh, those two yellow balls only need a couple of rolls, Peter. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's playing it with a, a different weight. He, he's getting excited. He's following it down. Uh, it's just starting to turn on him. Yeah, no, I'm just not quite. No. Great try, though, by Dale there. So. And, of course, Dale in the district sides for the last four days prior to this, uh, Peter was playing uh, lead in second, so he'd come back and skip this week and make the semi-finals. It was uh, an outstanding effort by the young lad. Oh, they've had a big week, haven't they, really? Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, quite, uh, quite an effort to be involved in all those days, and it's, um, you know, you must must get damn tight after. Gee, there's lots and lots of bowls, isn't there? There certainly is. Well, that makes it a little bit interesting. The very last pole that may have just snuck in front of that white pole. It's hard to tell from here. It's got shot. So I think this might be another umpire case, but they're going to measure. Um, must be pretty close there, Pete. Yeah, it looks like it. Doesn't it? Yeah. it does. From here, we've got a good angle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just looking down the green, uh, we're up the roadside of Helen's old uh, bowl club. And uh, well, I just think Eric's pole may have just snuck in front there. It's very hard to tell. But uh, anyway, Jane's doing the D. She's got the. Around the other one, mate, and look at it. She must have her herself there. And Heather indicating one shot to Heather and uh, Eric. So, so that, uh, that takes the score to 4 1. 4 2, says there on the board. Yeah, we just, yeah, 4 2, we just adjusted on the screen here. Yeah, four, we just adjusted it. 4 2 on four ends. And yeah. for those of you who want to know the score of the other game, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2 all on four ends. That'd be a good game over there, too, Brian. Uh, we'll be sneaking over there every now and again to have a bit of a boat peak, mate. So uh, we can, uh, we, can <laughs> we can do that. So. As Heather has rolled, she's definitely shortened the uh, the end up here, uh, Peter. So she's uh, definitely not as long as what um, Jane was was uh, throwing. No, no, it's um, it's a uh, test of uh, skills and uh, as I said earlier, tactician's game. That's for sure. And what a great bowl there with Heather, Jack Hoy. Jack Hoy there, lovely bowl there. Uh, as Jane persisting with her forehand, so she's uh, delivered this. I don't think she's got enough no, grass on this head, one. She's got enough grass on this one, mate. But uh, again, played with pretty good weight, though, uh, Peter. Yeah. You know, the weight's, weight's pretty good there. Don't know how they're on the mat. I don't even notice how she uh, does the full pendulum with her bowling arm there. Yes. Make sure she uh, delivery's correct. Well, lovely, we lovely, del pencil. lovely delivery there, so. It's all good. Still hanging on there, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's it's holding pretty well, yeah. isn't it? It's holding very well, mate. So. Oh, well done. Yeah, it, uh, it looked as though it was going to uh, turn there, yeah, but there. it just held on. It was a no, it just held that line yeah. pretty well because, like, she played it with pretty good weight. So she yeah. got to try now. And Jane just needs a little bit more grass. And uh, I'll tell you what, she's going to be a bit close to. Oh, she's just going to miss it. Oh, oh gotcha, mate. Gotcha. What a great try, though. 
pushed it over towards uh, Heather's bowls there, but uh, yeah. no, great try there, mate. So, but uh, it'd be uh, two at the moment to uh, cost to Eric and uh, Heather. So, uh, in the box seat, but a lot of bowls to come. You know, there's the two skips go to the mat, and uh, just for your own information, too, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying previously, that Dale and played in the district size as Eric did and as Jane did too. Jane in the uh, uh, Sunshine Coast ladies team that finished second in Division 1. So a great effort by the Sunshine Coast girls. And uh, Dale was actually in Eric's rink. Eric skipped the rink and uh, Dale was part and parcel of that rink. Uh, victorious rink for the Gold Coast there, Peter. So uh, it's funny how you see the master and the apprentice and now you see them <laughs> playing against each other. Yeah, the master <laughs> and the apprentice. It was a pretty good game too. They were just in front of us on uh, Saturday. Oh, what a great bowl by Dale. And uh, it was a pretty exciting game. Yeah, what a great bowl there. Yeah, everyone was certainly on the edge of their seat for that uh, Gold Coast game. Well, it was. It was, uh, it was uh, a great finish to, some, to a, a great four days of bowls, which was, as I said, proudly brought to you by Bowls Queensland. And it was just a pleasure to be able to... Uh, Bring it to you live streaming. It's an absolute pleasure to bring it to you. It's a great bowl there by Eric Johannes. Just uh, if the ladies and gentlemen is just out of camera slightly, he just uh, picked up the kitty and um, trailed it. As we have Dale now trying to um, to outdraw Eric. Eric's sitting just in behind the kitty. He's just pulling up a little bit short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. As Robbie's just trying to adjust the cameras, ladies and gentlemen, as we're a fair way away from, from it. But uh, yeah, it was a great competition last week. You know, we were re really blessed with that weather. Um, the, all the uh, greens and the clubs were set out a you know terrific atmosphere for us, and uh, the work that was put in by the greenkeepers was fantastic. Yeah, they beautiful uh, running greens for it, the same as we have here today at uh, Club Helensville, ladies and gentlemen. We have some uh, beautiful running greens so early in the morning, so it's absolutely uh, first class. Heather delivering her bowl. The bad looking bowl here, she's going to get that little rub off there? No, just on the other a bad spot where she's there, mate. No, uh, she's been finishing a pretty good home there, mate. Jane coming in with her ball. Julie Allen, good to have you on board, Julie. Robbie's wide awake and playing <laughs> with his TV controls, having a ball. <laughs> uh, great to have you on board, Jules. And Peter McCow, how are you, Peter? Good to uh, see you watching some bowls. You playing bowls today or are you going to work, mate? Thank you very much for those very kind words, Fiona. Yes, we look forward to uh, bringing you some quality uh, games throughout the uh, state championships, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we've got quite a bit of uh, live streaming to do for you. What a great bowl here, mate. Yeah, beautiful bowl there by Heather. So what a great bowl. Robbie's frantically trying to, uh, trying to move the camera down, ladies and gentlemen, which is uh, about 45 metres away from us. But... Uh, Unfortunately, uh, Dale's just standing right in front of the camera, so <laughs> Rob, Robbie's about to walk down and um, and try and move the camera down just to show you where where it is. Uh. You don't want the Robbie, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does a great job, mate. He's a he's a fine bloke with it too, mate. He certainly is. He certainly is, mate. And he has a great passion for our great game, and he has a great passion to bring you this uh, these quality events into your lounge room, your work office, or wherever you may be watching. So. Uh, He's, uh, yeah. I hate to count all these leads, Brian. I think it's a great idea just putting up the tripods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, uh, yes, it is amazing. So it, people think it's just easy to do, but when you see what uh, Robbie knows where everything goes, mate, and uh, don't ever ask me because uh, I'm only a green cooker. That's all I can say. <laughs> and there's a beautiful bowl here coming in by Eric Johannes by the looks of it, who's going to sit just. A little bit wider the kitty, but I think that would be very much a counter. Uh, very close to it anyway. Dale's having a bit of a look at this yeah. kitty. I'll tell you what, he's pretty close to it, mate. Gee whiz. Wow. <laughs> what, what a shot. What a great hit that was. 
you know, like that there once again, though, Peter, it goes to show you when these when these blokes are on their game like Dale is, he's been playing a lot of bowls and he's on his form. Like, I mean, to, to have a running shot with a kitty that's off the centre line and to get a result like that, that, that takes a lot of practice. And, you know, that's, uh, that's a magnificent bowl there by, uh, by young Dale. Yeah, mate, as you're saying, the type of balls they practice in Queensland, the city of Gold Coast, all my just comes from the last year. 2009, Bowles, Queensland, State Charge. I believe it. Ah, yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. So she's going to pull up. It's going to be full length. It's uh, just past the two metre yeah. mark now. So yeah. Dale, of course, moves the uh, the kitty back to the line. So T to T, mate. Yeah, quite a uh, quite a skill, really, to uh, nail this. Particularly if you want to throw full length, like it's up to the lead to wrap it and nail it with their first ball, in my opinion. I think she's just dropped her grass line here. I think she may have rushed that a little bit, and uh, she's just dropped her weight. It's probably a little bit light on, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's just the art of correction this game, my friend. So, so what you've got to do is correct over the next one. And, um, G'day, Peter Tappanen. How you going, mate? How's things up there at Mount Larkham? Yeah, mate, uh, it's certainly uh, behind Heather, as, as you always are. Dave Cook. G'day, Dave. How are you? Ian Law. How are you, mate? Hey, Law man. <laughs> How's Dad going on that cruise, mate? Barcelona. <laughs> yes, it's, so you have it just running just slightly through the head there, but her grass line is absolutely spot on. She's probably about uh, two foot, two and a half foot behind the head, so uh, quite a usable bowl. As Jane's playing her next bowl, she's persisting with her backhand, playing back towards the club rooms, ladies and gentlemen, at Club Helen's Bowl. She's playing away from the car park. They're playing on the bottom green. And the two semi finals are rink three and five, with the final to be on rink four. G'day, Pat Olsop. How are you, mate? Hope you're enjoying this. Neville Hook, the score, mate. The score on the other rink is 3-5 on a 6. And it's... Three, five it would be to uh, Aaron Sheriff and his mother-in-law. Uh, Aaron, of course, must be after some brownie points. <laughs> uh, very... Uh, very accomplished bowler. There's Liz. Very accomplished bowler. If I remember correctly, I think Liz plays up the Sunshine Coast, uh, Peter. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, one of the reasons why uh, why Aaron I was told why he moved to Queensland was to um, wife would be close to the family. So uh, that's fair enough, mate. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's always nice to have 
built in babysitters, mate, isn't it? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not really because a lot of our butt bowlers do require it. <laughs> he must have been listening to my conversation on Sunday. Is that right, mate? Yeah, my uh, granddaughter with her new baby said, You should be moving to Toowoomba, Papa, and you could look after us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can be too close, my friend. Oh, exactly. As we see, Dale's just running down the head now, as he tells these young kids have plenty of energy. If I run down there like that, I need an oxygen tent down there. But uh, Dale's going to play his backhand, playing back towards the club rooms. He's got plenty of room there, uh, Peter, to uh, sneak, sneak one in here. He's got it very well uh, grassed out there. He's just going to be pending upon his weight control now, which yeah. isn't too bad. Just going to pull up a little bit short, but what a beautiful line. So easy to correct with his second ball. Very on the map there. Delivering his ball. And not a bad looking track so far, mate. Just got to start to break a bit. Yeah, he's got it very well out yeah. there, mate. It's yeah. just going to be blowing a bit of smoke by the looks of things. But uh, again, like Dale, uh, beautiful line there, uh, Peter. Probably couldn't afford it the cost of petrol, mate. <laughs> well, that's true too, mate. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't get over the price of it coming down here this morning, mate. I'm telling you. Anyway, it's a different story. We're more worried about bowls as Dale. Yeah, he's, he's changed his hand. Um, um, yeah, he's still had ample room to come in that other way, but he's uh, he's put a good bowl in there, which is very, very usable. It's, again, it's just a couple of feet behind the head, so, you know, uh, there's still plenty of, plenty of room out here for uh, for Eric or whoever likes to play the uh, the backhand still. Oh, Eric's underdone again, I think, mate. Yeah, he is. I think he's a little bit underdone, so... Very uncharacteristic from uh, Eric Johannes. It normally uh, corrects very, very well. But again, those have both played a lot of bowls in the last week. It's um, he's going to get to this far. They've uh, played all day Monday, ladies and gentlemen, when the competition started, which was uh, which was um, three games post sectional, and of course they uh, wrapped it up yesterday, playing their post sectional matches to make the semi finals this morning. So. Uh, a big three days of bowls, uh, Peter, so keep them well and truly in it, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you've really got to uh, adjust mentally and physically, haven't you, for, uh, in preparation to uh, a, long, a long turn out there on the green. So it's, uh, Well, you have to adjust. I mean, probably the biggest thing when you're playing in this sort of calibre of competition, Peter, is your mental toughness is really what you require because your concentration level has to be there at all times. You know what I mean? As... Uh, Jane's first bowl, she's played this very well, she's hit that back yellow bowl, just got the wrong side of it, but uh, again, they come to a uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, home just there, so uh, now, Heather, um, I'm just going to, uh, Peter, just going to have a quick change of commentary, I've got to go pick some sure. shrimps, so... Bobby Denham's coming in to take my place, and I'll be back after we pick some uh, over 60 Gold Coast teams, right? All right, mate, thanks very much. Okay, change of uh, commentators here. We've got uh, Bob coming in. As we watch the bowls coming down. Morning, mate. How are you? Good day, Bob. How are you going? Very well, thank you. Very well. That's good. Lovely conditions here, mate. Fantastic. Really great. Looking at the uh, the wind's been tricky for. Yeah, yeah well, it's swinging around a bit. It uh, it has been. So Jane uh, looks like she's going to run into a bit of trouble there. Yep. Yeah, it was predicted at a, at a subway at 22 kilometres an hour, but um, uh, I don't think we quite at that. That uh, kilometre hour rate, but still, not that severe. it's more just changing. Yeah. Back and forth. yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've got that. I think it's just a light breeze. Heather, yeah, great bowls though. Oh my word, Heather Hodson on the mat. Heather with her yellow bowls. Looks like um, she's got a chance here. She's got that turn. Yeah, no, it's been a, we've been a blessed with as well. Like last week was what a fantastic week for the. Uh, the bowls and um, we've been pretty lucky too with the pretty lucky too with the uh, conditions etc. Yeah, it's been uh, 
been great. Like the weather's held out because what we want, we thought we were going to get a bit more rain you know, over the last night and this, this morning, but it's it's looking bloody good actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, certainly. Well, it was only drizzly last night, but that, um, you know, it, it comes a great shot in here. Well, listen, uh, well. <laughs> The bowl, the bowl's been magnificent, and, and just been watching some of the game with uh, with Aaron over there. Their heads have been just extremely good. The young guys are just playing wonderful bowls. It's just great to see, especially the young guys getting into it. The, the way they're playing, they're just amazing. The control of weight is just perfect. Dale's having another little crack here. I'm just going to eat that front pole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a few of these guys, I think. No, they're not. <laughs> they don't have any whatsoever, mate. <laughs> not whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, we've been a bit tentative there, and we, we've uh, been having a bit of a think about it, but they, uh, they certainly get straight into it. Yep. So, Eric, this last pole. Yeah, it does. It looks like a well grassed uh, line there, that's for sure. That's a good ball. Did it get past there? No, oh, no unfortunately. <laughs> okay. One or two, sure. Yeah, I think it, I think it might have been two there, but um, yeah. So Heather Hodson, Paradise Point. Um, she's got the map. Heather playing with Eric Joe Hansen. In this. Semi final, the state mixed pairs, and they're playing against uh, Dale McWinnie, Shillington, and Jane Bush. Yep. It's interesting, uh, Bob, they've changed the length. The uh, Hot and Joe Anderson um, pair have uh, constantly been trying to shorten this length up, where uh, Jane and Dale have been playing ditch to ditch here, so we an interesting concept in. Relations to the tactics. Maybe the medium length now to see what can change it up a bit. Today, Simon Wallace, here, mate. How are you? Uh, good morning, Alex Murder, Ben Slater. Yeah, Ben, it's all looking good there, mate. Jane Bush with her uh, first bowl. The sun's a bit bright, mate. It's just a bit hard, yeah. to, hard to see. Pick up on that yeah. screen, isn't it? Yeah. She's got a pretty good bowl here, though. Yeah. Good mate. Uh, just through the back there, mate. That's all right there. That's all right. Yeah. So Heather with us. Heather's up there. Got a yellow bowl. A second bowl. Great delivery from Heather. It's a beautiful style. Yeah, yeah it is. That. It's important with those arms, mate, to get that uh, pendulum going and, you know, make sure you uh, achieve it as smooth as you can. Yeah. yeah. yeah good you know, it's just resting in front of uh, Jane's boss. So that'd be the shot bowl here. Bob? Yep. Back on the other hand. Yeah. She, uh, she's just starting to... To bend off the line a bit there, but oh gee, this is going to be close, man. Yep. Yeah, great ball, great ball, great ball. I see there they said there may be rain, but the way that sky looks, mate, it doesn't doesn't look as though there's going to be any. No, the clouds are getting high now, so yeah, yeah fingers all crossed. Good. All good. Live stream by Bowls Gold Coast Tweed Media Team is brought to you by Bowls Queensland and the city of Gold Coast. Eric, his bowl. Not a bad looking track here from Eric's. And it uh, just skirts past Jane's front bowl there. The city of Gold Coast has been great for uh, to, to Bowls Queensland sponsoring this event and uh, we're very help happy that they're uh, on board with us again. They've been very, very uh, supportive of bowls on the coast. It's been fantastic. Yeah, you need it, don't you, mate? Otherwise, we, 
know, we'd be struggling to uh, telecast and bring this uh, live to everyone. Yep. Eric Joe Hansen with his bowl now. Not bad looking grass. Might be a bit short on weight, mate. Pull the weight up a bit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so the breeze has changed completely. It's on the other side now. The boys are trying to get their line and it's just just playing havoc with their uh, with their line. This should come through quite nicely. Running with the breeze. Good weight control there, Dale. Yeah, a couple of shots there to Dale and uh, Dane. <laughs> you see that banner, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the edge of the jack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. I'll get you a couple of holes in it. It's not the shadow. The uh, sun will come up a bit further later and we'll be fine. No, no worries. No. No. No, we we'll certainly won't. <laughs> Heather making sure she's lined that uh, bowl up in the arm. It's a bit of an art line that up. I even see some people put a line on the, the front jewelry or something. Yeah, yeah. Get, a, get a big line, right? Yeah. So they don't get in line, they tend, tend to pineapple out of, the, uh, out of the arm, which obviously is no good. What's Heather done here, mate? She's, uh, she's hot, no? Yeah, she's just stuck across. Yeah, great way. Close for sure. Yeah, that'll be, be a measure between the uh, the blue and the yellow there. Uh oh, this is the camera there. A bit of breeze, we'll see there. It's just got up under that umbrella, unfortunately. It's some of the hazards of broadcasting outdoors. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last time it's happened. Might even need another weight on it. Yeah. So, what's Heather going to do with this one? Well, she seemed to wind up a bit longer then. Just yeah. a bit of thought into uh, this one. Needs to come under Eric's bowl, that's what you're yeah. getting along, right? Who's done a bad job here? That's not a bad looking bowl, mate. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> have to do it, I think. We yeah. have to tell on that angle, but I think she's just sliced it enough to get under there. I had a fantastic two weeks in Perth. Um, I went to the uh, blind, uh, blind Bowlers National Championships, and uh, amazingly enough, blind, completely blind bowlers like B1s playing with an arm, and their, their head was every bit as good as this. But, um, it was just a Really, an honour to be there and, and help uh, direct some of the players. Uh, pretty solid two weeks, but it was really great. And Queensland came out in front and won the championship. It was a uh, wonderful thing, and both Queensland uh, were very gracious in kitting out the whole side with their state uniforms. And uh, I've got to say, they were the best on the ground, looking as well, not just playing. So. They, uh, you know, a bit of bias there, but still. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very good. Yeah, it's, a, it's really uh, heartwarming, isn't it? Yep. But, um, you don't know how lucky you are sometimes. Not at all. I feel these guys, uh, they can be high maintenance, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, they're, uh, they take their game so seriously, and uh, some of the bowlers there are just magnificent. You know, yeah. With, with uh, being able to, to play the shops they do, play the the lengths and the, you know, all sorts of lengths, not long, medium, ditch the ditch, yeah. it's so competitive. I watched them here a couple of years ago at Broadbeach and I was just absolutely yep. wrapped in the way they played. Well, they'll be playing in the Aussie Open, They've, we've got uh, pairs and singles on for the uh, visual disabilities, um, and that's going to be a, something to see, at, uh, starting at Musgrove, uh, starting at Broadbeach in the uh, pairs and then playing the singles at Musgrove Hill. And the finals will get back at Broadbeach on the 13th. Okay. Yeah. But, yep, it's, uh, as you say, it's a humbling thing to see these guys play. Yeah. And then you think, well, try going out there with your eyes shut. <laughs> 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 I think some of us do it what? Uh, after, uh, after the games. <laughs> I don't think it's got anything to do with their eyes. <laughs> yeah, the post mortems are a little different, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So we've certainly uh, two blue there now with that nice change in here. And Eric's he's not far away here. And he, yep, good bowl. Good bowl. Bit of rub there, right? Right. Well, yep. Not to pull out. Very good. Dale having a good look as he's goes back to the mat. He's not going to be sure. That's for no, sure. no, he's um, he certainly uh, had a good look there and uh, looked as he's going back. Certainly a lot of stamina at, at this stage of the game with the amount of bowls that have been played over the last week or so. Yep. Oh, that's early days for this uh, this championship too. Could wait on here, mate. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> uh, hands above the head saying, so what have I done? No, uh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. That's why he goes. Yeah, that certainly is. Certainly is. There's our breeze picking up again. Let's hope this camera stays there. Uh, looks like Robbie's moved that way a bit, so that might be uh, an advantage there. Keep, the, keep it down. Yeah, be a bit shy, mate. Eh? Still not a bad yeah. bowl, good line. Just needed a foot of weight. Yeah. A foot of weight would have done it. Here's the second bowl. Steps onto the mat. And that pendulum going. Playing your forehand. <laughs> Put it on the wrong hand before, but Brian picked me up pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to cut the head there. Yeah, yeah. just, just slice it across. Well, that white breeze is quite strong to now across that side of the head, so... Yeah, well, the flags are nearly uh, 90 degrees to the flag pole at the moment. Yep. Windy ushers. Have you got that Gordon out working, mate? The score currently is... 6 all on the 17th. Oh, good ball there. So he better be out there working. When you make sure good, he's out there, mate. <laughs> Him up a bit of hard yakka. Thanks for everyone that's watching too. Just send in those uh, those shares. Share with everybody that's on your uh, on your list, and uh, let us know the likes. We'd love to uh, know where you're from, and uh, give us your comments. Wendy Usher from Dolby. Um, what a bad little spot to go and have a game of bowls, Bob. It's a lovely spot to go and play bowls. Anywhere it is when, it's, when you don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> a great no, bowl coming in here, mate. Look at Eric here. No, good bowl. Great bowl. Beautiful. Very good, Eric. Okay, now we wait. And he's just missed. Ooh. That could have gone anywhere if you hit it. Yeah, hit a great line or about three quarters and then it just uh, just trapped off that line. Mm, two down, uh, yeah, that'd be two down, mate, yep. Yeah. Mm, he's got a hurry. Slip it around the back a bit. A hurry. Not quite. Not would have liked another metre on that, I think. Yeah, I reckon, mate. He'd probably have uh, decided not to think about this very much. Oh, wow. That's a uh, jump over the top of the as well, so it wasn't going to be any good where it was. <laughs> <laughs> You'd a bit scared as a spectator when you see it come off the ground, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, well, either Nathan Rice or Pace one day, one game here, or well, many years ago, stuck it out in the middle of Discovery Drive. Yeah. Well, there was no cars, but two up. <laughs> Um, also, like to thank the umpires, greens keepers, bar staff, bistro staff for their tireless efforts in making this event run smoothly. Yep. Club Helen Vale, the place to be, uh, making their facilities available for this 2019 state championships. Thanks to Club Helen Vale. Yeah. Yeah. Always first to put the hand up to be involved in these events. And much appreciated. The facilities are unbelievable, and uh, the cooperation of the staff and the management is magnificent. Yeah, they certainly do a great job, Bob. Yeah, they do. 
It's a pleasure to uh, actually belong to Club Helen's Arm and uh, to support them. And on the forehand, oh, she's holding a good grass line there, and yeah, just going to go back to the rear a bit, but that's all right. Just show you the conditions today. The flag's now absolutely dead. <laughs> There's nothing happening with the, the wind. And uh, three, three minutes ago, it was flying a gale, so the contestants here have got a bit to deal with. A bit to deal with. Heather on the map. At least the ball. Oh, gee, I don't know. Oh, it's not, not tracking pretty well. A bit of weight. Yeah, he looked a bit shy of grass when she released it, but uh, it's behind the first ball. Jane with her second ball. Good good line. Lovely, damn good line there. Yeah, lovely goal. Oh, great ball there, Bob. Yep. Good stuff. Great ball. Trying with a Drake's pride, I think. I know. Yeah, yeah, that's a Drake's pride. There it's. See if you can draw around this ball. Back up, straight down the green now. I'm not sure if you blink and missed it. So what's his winning? You let Gordon go go out bowling today, mate. Earn a bit of money. Well done. Today, Kane Nelson, Jeffrey Watson. So glad to have you aboard. Hope you're enjoying this live streaming by Bowls Gold Coast Tweet Media Team. It's brought to you by Bowls Queensland and the City of Gold Coast. Yeah, it certainly is.
Cape Area. Uh, the scores on Aaron Cheryl Street night is four six eight. See what he does with this ball, Bob. Well, just draw on the back on the uh, back end, right? Well, you would think so, wouldn't you? But um, got two bowls there to sit on. Yeah, yeah, you, did, you would think that uh, he would. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no, looks like he's. Yes. On the draw. I'm not sure. No. The pity? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, didn't kill. Thought he killed it. He got one out of that. Oh. How good was that? <laughs> Sorry we couldn't get that camera angle for you guys. We've just gassed out of the shot. But G'day, Paul Staggard Senior. How are you, mate? Hope you're enjoying the telecast. Hope you stay with us the uh, rest of the day. We've certainly got some... Uh, Great matchups here, so uh, welcome, mate. Good tactic coming up here. Dead short end. So you, you kick the balls here. Kitty's got to stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See what happens. Yep, you played it. Oh, she played it well. <laughs> hey. Now kick the balls. <laughs> I've done that too many times. You kick them up and down. And <laughs> Why the hell did I do that? Oh. Good tactics coming up here. You'd have to put odds on that that kitty's going to end up in the ditch, wouldn't you? Oh, in the position. <laughs> I think you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Put a couple of bottles on it. It's not, it's not with your first bottle. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You'd have to do that, I think. Peter Hughes, hello, Peter. How are you? Sean Keepy, how you going, mate? Yeah, good start. Great ball by Heather. Jane with her second ball. And let's see what happens, mate. Right? What do you reckon about that kitty? Still just drawing through to it. I'm going to hold up here. Just on the other side. You can push that as back a bit further than that, but uh, the new one's going to still look back to the last one.
Freddie Hughes, Justin Maylock, and Ian Simpson. Hill, how are you, Nick? Peter Hill, you're there, young Peter. Uh, glad to have you join us, mate. This is live streaming brought by Bowles Gold Coast Tweed Media, Media Team. It's brought to you by Bowles Queensland and the city of Gold Coast.
confirms that's right, yep. Yeah. Yeah, just confirm the scores again, 4 11 on 10, and Aaron's on the uh, right hand side of the board as we look from our position. Eric, how you going? <laughs> 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 we'll have to do, um, run the short end again here, mate. Yep. First ball from Jane Second ball of James. Yeah. Bit heavy that one. In the ditch. The risk you take when you've got a very short end. But, uh, that's what we're about. Just come back to the score with uh, Aaron Sheriff leading 11 4 on the 10 team. Bella just delivering uh, her second ball now. Yeah, this is the ball, this nicely weighted. Yeah, oh, good ball. Great ball. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to thank the host club, but that's Club Helens Vale, the place to be for making these their facilities available for these 2019 state championships. Dial on the net. Doesn't look like a bad sort of trap there, Bob. You get a good line. Just, just a slice of the line. Slice oh. line. Yep. Well, he's finished about a metre behind, which is a handy spot on this sort of length end. So Eric uh, uh, delivering his ball. Eric's got a little bit of weight behind this. Yeah, it looks that way, mate, doesn't it? It's not going to no, it's not tap for him. He's got too much money, he just hasn't turned right. off that track. Well, in there again. Well, he might be starting to cut That's a bit there, mate, but he yeah. might... Uh, mm. Looks like he promoted Heather's bowl there, so... Mm. Might be... Uh, might be a bit close for both of them, mate, by looking at look the yeah. close. Yeah. There it is really this bowl. Yeah. A little bit of weight back. He's got a good line. Great right track, right? Got the kitty. Yeah, he's picked it up. Yep. Picked it up. Oh, great ball. Okay. And if you didn't know, he comes from Paradise Point with a bad right in the middle of the screen off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, Aaron Sheriff's 11, mate, on that one. To Jess and uh, Jacob Nelson. So, Jane um, on the map, has a good look at the, the head. Moving a bowl. Just pick it up at the moment, they can now in the screen. If we, Robbie, if we can get that on as a main screen, we can see where the shot ball is. This one. Okay, Heather. Just need some instructions there from Eric. That's it. Now we can see where the kitty is there. 
Give the viewers an idea of how far away the, those bowls are. Yeah, there's a bowl. It's coming in the screen now. I think the right way, I reckon. She just, yeah, she's narrow. She just don't like you, I think, there, when yeah. she, um, she crashed into those front ones, but uh, the weight certainly seemed to be there. Yeah, it's on its way. Should be cutting into the screen about now. Yep, here, here it comes. comes. Here it comes. Look at the weight. Look at the weight on that. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was a beauty. A, that was unbelievable weight. What a beauty. So here it comes. Just giving Heather a couple of guidelines there as to where he, uh, where he best thinks that her bowl should be positioned. People in the back of the uh, shop there, really getting entertained here with some fantastic bowls from uh, both rinks. And uh, playing the final this afternoon, I'm sure there'll be a lot more people sitting there watching the final of this mixed pairs. Uh, I think Heather was a bit, uh, a bit overweight there, mate, so she's back yep. up on the bank there. Yeah, so the weather conditions are not too bad, Bob. It's just, just that wind I think we've got to worry about for the rest of the day. You know, if it starts to gust like it was sort of 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, that could be uh, wearing on the players, both bowling and just physically wearing it. Uh, yeah, that's a challenge for them. Yeah. No doubt about that. And, uh, but as we all know, that's part of the game, isn't it? It certainly is. Well, we've got Charles Bowl coming down. Can't quite pick it up yet. This is that. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yep. It's got to be shot, hasn't it? Yeah, here comes Eric. He's got a bit of weight there, mate. Yep. He's got a bowl run on. Yeah, so. yeah, Dale doesn't mess around, mate, does he? It's that bowl on the mat and away it goes. Yep. Gives it a characteristic spin as he puts it in his hand. Oh, a bit more time. Yeah. holding the shot here. I think he is. Just see the bowl now. I'm just coming into. Uh, yep. Into the screen there. Zoom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that must be close. That was rocking there. But that's, that's a toucher, isn't it? I think that's a toucher. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. yeah I think he'd be, uh, Dale would be inclined to, uh, if I was Dale, to shy away from that a bit. But, uh, Wind getting a bit stronger, mate. Oh, just a tad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that box of weights didn't work. Not at all. Comes Eric. Oh. Down bowling the yeah. edge. He was looking for that, the blue. He got one. Interesting in that. Well, they're sticking with the same tactics. Map right up. Yeah, certainly are. It's, um, it seems to be working for them. I suppose if it works for you, we'll stick to it. Yeah. Don't change. Now to, uh, yeah, we thought we had enough weight. Hey, Russell Hubbard uh, from Thursday Island. Welcome aboard, mate. Hope you enjoy this uh, telecast. 
The weather's a bit different up there, I think, still at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, there's a bit of going on. Yeah, yeah. hanging off the, the coast there. Good spot to be there. Yeah. Two things you can do there play bowls and fish. Well, it sounds like the perfect place. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect spot. Yeah, nice starter there. So it's a little metre short though. Should have, yeah, should be uh, trying to adjust for the next one, Heather. And Jane with her ball. Look like a bad sort of track from here, Bob. Yeah, it's coming in nicely. Sit. And stay on. Yeah. Yep, just behind. Just behind. That's okay. okay. Aaron's pushed out to uh, 16 to 4 now. And he's, uh, City of Gold Coast, uh, Bowles Queensland, the City of Gold Coast, the major sponsors of Bowles of the 2019 Bowles Queensland State Championships. And we very much like to thank them for their support. People sort of don't realise how, how involved the councils get with their constituents and uh, what they actually do. So it's a good to have the City of Gold Coast on board. Thank you. They do a lot of, a lot of work for Bowles. Uh, I guess you can just carry on and come out and It's certainly been a busy time for the city council this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my. So yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
you stop there. This first ball. Rub off oh, there. Oh, he might have. Close. It'll be interesting to see the relationship of the the blue bowl compared to uh, to Eric's last yes. bowl. Have a look at this one, I think. Yeah. It just gives you an idea of the uh, how the angles change on the camera when you're looking at from where we are. The only way you can pick that up is directly overhead. Yeah, that's where those um, ones at the big TV. Yep. Stations used with those rings on it are absolutely magnificent. Yeah, well, we, we haven't had we haven't a boom yet, no, Robbie. No, right. <laughs> There's, there is a wish list. <laughs> <laughs> there is a wish list. <laughs> yep. And the fact that I'm the director of finance of the district, it's got to go be approved. <laughs> <laughs> However, he hasn't done too bad out of the gear he's picked up so far. Yeah. So that was, I didn't, too busy talking now. No, I didn't quite pick up how many they got, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> two shots, two shots. Okay. Right, so. Changing tactics again. Medium length coming up here. Surprise, surprise. Eric's getting away from that ditch and all the mat up anyway. Yeah, I think she's probably on a Heather's probably on a metre or so on from what, what I think they'd like. Yeah. 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 But um Heather with her first bowl. It's in the other game by the way, yeah. It's still sixteen to four to Aaron after uh, twelve ends. And uh, not sure what their last result was. The score will be up next time they swap over. We'll keep up to date with that one. Oh, what a great ball ball, Heather. Beautiful. Picked it up perfectly. Oh, what a great, great ball. Let's see if Jane can match her Heather's ball. She'll certainly be trying to do that, Bob. Yep. It's not a bad looking no, it's track. Great reply here. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, wow, what a bowl. What a bowl. Yeah. Certainly uh, great bowls for the two leads. Don't forget after this, uh, do we know what time, Robbie, we're going to have to run the final? Do you know what time it's due? No idea. No idea? Okay, well, just keep your eye on the no idea clock. We will let you know, obviously, before this broadcast is finished. But we're, uh, we'll have the final actually going to be played on a little rink between these two. Regardless of who manages to get in, it'll be a good game, I'm sure. <coughs> so Heather shy with that second ball of hers. Jane now coming in with her second ball. Looks to be a bit narrow, eh? Certainly does. Oh, um, good. 18 inches or more short. She might be happy with that one. No. She's going to give it a kick then, I think, when she will pass. We've all done that before. Very <laughs> 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 
boy, he's got a good bow. Yes, yeah, but there he is, didn't he? Just a foot Just a mate, but he didn't have a foot. Dale. Fucking right. Just get put now, he's running to, running to have his bowl there. Now with his ball, just like slip through the middle there. He just did a rub, no, he's got a rub off, uh, off the wing ball. Discussion here about uh, what should be, should be played between Dale and Jane. Well, Neville, was it 10 or no idea or 10 past no idea? <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to be 10. It's going to be several like maybe more like 2. So the current score here. Eric Johannes. This is uh, Dale McWinnie Schlinken, and Dale is on nine, and Eric is on eight, on eleven ends. So Heather Hodson is delivering her bowl now. We're just picking it up in the screen now, on the left hand side coming down. And she's just. Uh, So the rear, but probably uh, in a great spot if we're looking for a catcher. As they say, the back of the bowl. And James put one out the back there too, so yep. uh, just a bit of safety there. Nice little port in there. Best to slide in. Easy to see, hard to do. <laughs> True words. So Heather, um, just coming down. Uh, not the white you have the ball. Just, uh, just Eric seems pretty happy with it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just fraction him. Uh, still no great. In the safety catching area there, mate. So she, um, Jane's coming down with her ball now. She had a, had a bit of a good look at it, but. What's she done here, Bob? She's going to catch the front of that ball? Yes, yeah, she is. So just close that gap slightly, but I'm sure the uh, boys will get down through there. They are going to stay at the, uh, the pointy end and uh, watch the first delivery that Eric puts down. So Eric on the map. Here's a good look. Just got that gap there, in the, just in uh, front of the jack. Um, watching Eric's ball come down now. Starting that big bit. Really nicely. Yep. Good ball. Oh, just need another foot. He would have been happy with another roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, uh, in a good position there, so Dale on the mat. And um, see what Dale's going to produce here. Doesn't miss a bit. Forehand. Like this line. Here, Jane. This is a good day. Jane's looking pretty good. Look at this. this. Wow. Well, well done. What a ball. <laughs> What a ball. What a ball, I uh, think it has to say that this. Yeah, yeah, we can see it now. James Bowl there. Thanks, Robbie. Thank you. The Victor Extraordinaire. 
Are you saying no? <laughs> Mr. Gadget. Give you a good indication where the, the head lies to the ditch. About a four foot off the ditch. Comes Eric, he's got the shot bowl. Oh, pity! <laughs> wow, well, what a shot! Do you already he'd be clapping his hands, mate, if he'd picked that uh, jack up. Jack up, but yeah, he's only a half a kitty distance off it and just missed it by about two or three inches. But he got his got the bowl he was going for, of course. Yeah, straight draw here for dinner. Let it go on his back end. Slide under there. He's got it. Line looks very good. Tracking well, mate. Pretty yeah. short. Pretty short. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah I think that, um, that uh, bowl of heathers could be could be in the count there. Yeah. Yeah. Short bowl. So it's. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be an interesting measure. They claimed one. Matt back up or not? Uh, I'm not sure, she's um, just checking with the boss. Yeah. Ditch the ditch. Ditch the ditch. ditch. Oh, let's pop it up. It's a change for uh, their side. But then um, they started when we, we first started the game, that ditch to ditch. Mm -hmm. They're probably uh, just employing another tactic to uh, test the. The mayor of um, Heather and Eric. Another rink there, and it's uh, 18 7 up now after 14. And we go 10 8 to, to Dale and Heather. You're not far off ditching the ditch there, mate. Pretty good. Probably uh, three quarters of a metre by the look of that. So you're just about the full length there, ladies and gentlemen. James delivery. Look like a bad track. Ooh, a good bowl here. Very good first bowl. Look at that. Well, she's picked it up. Now she's moved it back to where she wanted it, mate. Yep. Yeah. What a great bowl. Let's see whether Heather can uh, reply here. Great, uh, great action by Heather. Yep. To release the ball. Oh, it's wait. Doesn't look too bad for the weight. Coming home nicely. Just be behind. Oh, good ball. Good ball there. They've got the green drain nicely here, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they really um, um, Very true. Luke and his team do a great really job. Good job. Yep. Really good job. Across all rinks, all running the same. As this. <laughs> oh, another well great bowl. Another great bowl by well Johnny done. Bush. Well done. So they've just got to try and sneak in there somewhere, mate, but she's not far behind with the first bowl. Yep. She comes. A couple of swings. Have you ever tried bowling with a bowling arm? I fix them for the um, bowlers and yep. my two puppies when I get out the backyard to test them, they take off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never had a go at it. Oh, it's, it's interesting. I've watched Jimmy Merrick, he's, he's done a lot of promoting around the district for, yeah. with the uh, bowling arm and runs clinics, been running clinics and what have you over the last year or two and he's going to have a break this year from it, but uh, the program will still continue through district and... Uh, District bought one of every bowling arm you can get of each size and length and whatever for the clubs to try before you buy. Yep, and it's a great program. Yeah, something like 30 odd people have been leave one day, you know, just trying it out, which was fantastic. Yeah, from the arm bowler's registration uh, side of the fence, the Jimmy's actually promoted and signed up quite a few, so it's uh, it's been both good to people that uh, have the opportunity to learn how to bowl the arm and also yep. for the Maroon Arm Bowlers Association in. Uh, 
picking up new registered players. Yep. It's all good for the game. It certainly is. Yep. But, um, it certainly are. As I said, I, my, poo, my poor two dogs, they scatter when they see me walk out there with it and they <laughs> just take off because I, I put it in there and I've got no idea where it's going to go. It's not a game of fetch. <laughs> I think they're a bit little for that too. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here it is. What a picked up the uh, Jack. Yep. I'm going to hand over to the boss of the district, Brian Marshall, again to continue on. And uh, thanks for your time. I'll be probably get back after people have a little bit of a break. I'm happy to sit in and help them. Here, look at that. I was just putting put the kitty out of bounds. The dead end. But thanks, thanks very much, mate. Look forward to seeing you this afternoon. Okay. Thanks, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to welcome back Brian Marshall. Brian had some administrative job jobs to do there, and uh, all done luck, mate. All done now, Pete. How are you, mate? It's been a great game. Two oh. great games of bowls. Terrific bowls, mate. Great bowl there by Eric, and uh, a better bowl by um, Dale to uh, kill the week, mate, uh, to kill the end. So, yeah, so, so very, uh, some great bowls being played. And for those of you, ladies and gentlemen, the update score on the other rink is uh, 18 to 7 to uh, Aaron Sheriff and his uh, mother in law, uh, Liz Walton. So uh, they're getting a bit of a break, but there's no break on this rink here, Peter. It's nice and close. On 12 ends, it's 10 uh, 8. So very close game. Coming down to the business end of the game. So if anyone's going to be one from here, my friend. Oh, I've been some lovely bowls here, Brian. Absolute superb bowls. Yeah, it's just good to watch it. We were, even though I've been inside doing a bit of administrative uh, duties uh, on the Gold Coast, uh, but also too, I've been watching it because uh, even though we're picking the teams on the inside for the quad series, uh, watching the bowls on the outside, and some of the bowls have been outstanding, and uh, Jane's been leading up pretty well. Uh, when Dale could have she had two bowls right on it, and uh, Eric played a bomb to uh, trail it, and um, of course then um, young Dale... Uh, killed it, so you can't get better bowls than that, mate, can you? No, no. It's, it's been interesting, too, with the uh, length of the jack placement. Uh, Jane and Dale started off with uh, ditch to ditch, and uh, then it was shortened up there, and now they're going back to the ditch to ditch, so uh, employing some tactics to uh, test the other side of uh, Eric and Heather. Yeah, well, uh, just see, Heather's just under the forehand there, and she's got a touch of stick with it, but... Uh, a lovely start there by Heather. Like I mean, ladies and gentlemen, like there's a bit of wind blowing down here now. The green's starting to run very uh, freely because the uh, overnight rain that we had is starting to dry out. And um, to be able to stick to it, you can't stick to it all the time. So that was about you know an eighth of an inch of being the perfect bowl, wasn't it? You know. Yeah, it's a, the other thing that's happened this morning, Brian, is the wind. It's picked up and then it's dropped and picked up. So yes, and, uh, blowing across the green here at the moment. You see these uh, flags here to the right of us uh, starting to blow quite quite a bit yeah. now, uh, Peter. So uh, anyway, got Heather's going to stick to her forehand here, ladies and gentlemen. She's playing towards the car park, away from the clubhouse end of uh, Helensville Bowl Stop. And uh, once again, she's got it out there. It's just going to depend on her weight control now because she's got a pretty good grass line on this. Oh, I think she's a bit underdone with it. Oh, it's a shame. Beautiful line there, but I'm sure Eric will rectify that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has welcome past the commentary area with a big smile on his face. Since he's been, uh, he's been up in the smoking lounge. <laughs> but, um, but absolutely, uh, see what uh, young Dale, of course, has got first bowl. I assume he probably plays forehand. Uh, seems to have set up that way. Uh, he's let the ball go. You can see it there at the top of your screen now, ladies and gentlemen. He's got it uh, pretty well grasped. This, again, it's going to be weight control. Let's see where it comes. Seems to have a little bit of run with this one. Well, that's probably the worst ball I've seen to play in about six days, mate. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I reckon. He's played uh, such great good weight. But he just, he just had a bit of a concentration lapse there, but I'm sure he rectified the second ball. As uh, Eric's playing his bowl again, sticking to the forehand, ladies and gentlemen, and um, pretty good bowl there by Eric. Played that well, mate. Yeah, just sitting, just probably a couple of feet behind the head there, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, Dale now doesn't take longer than that, does he? No, he's straight onto it. 
give him a bowl and let me play. Now, if you blink here, mate, you're missing. <laughs> yeah, but it just goes to show with what great confidence Shane Dale's playing with at the moment, too. You know, I mean, he just wants to play bowls, which is uh, great to see because he, uh, he has a lot of talents, a young lad. And uh, I think he's going to be uh, a name to be in our game for a great number of years to come. Oh, it's, it's certainly true there, mate. Uh, whereas Eric is uh, just sticking with the forehand also. I see you have uh, his correction. There's a couple of foot long with his second one. Of course, his, this bowl's pretty well grasped. And pull it up just a pair of foot short, but I'm definitely in the count there for sure there, Peter. Certainly is. So, uh, two reasonable bowls there by uh, young Eric. In the boy, hi. How are you, Emma? Lynn uh, Jaffrey, I hope you're mending there, Winnie. Hope you're uh, coming good. Yep, good to have you on board. G'day, Emma. She, uh, Emma did a lot of commentary for us, Peter, down at the uh, PBA. Okay. Uh, another rising star of our game, young Canadian, uh, only 18, 19 years of age, and uh, yeah, he played some good bowls down there in the PBA, mate. How good. As Jane's playing her first bowl down here, and I'll tell you what, she's played a pretty good bowl here, Peter. What a great bowl. Yeah, what well a Set Eric out. Yeah, that's a great bowl there by the, uh, Jane. Hard to see how shot. It'll be interesting to see what shot Heather's been called on here. Is, um, looks as though she's going to be caught on the forehand, so it's looking uh, pretty reasonable there. Plenty of room to draw, that's for sure. Yeah, Evan, just to answer your question, 12 ends. And we've just got a bit of an update here. We had some questions uh, to us of when the final will start and uh, approximately a 1 p.m. this afternoon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you've got us all day. How good's that, eh? So we've got... Um, Heather about to step on the mat here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, Jane just put up a bit short with her last one there, Peter. So Heather's just got a correct from her first bowl. Yeah, she's got um, grass lines really not bad. It's just a little bit of weight control. And this is where I say they're having they're striking it hard, Peter, with this wind coming across, I reckon. She's just got to get a little straight line. Did right there, mate? She did. Oh, Ooh. dear. Yeah, it can get pretty swirly here in the middle of uh, Helen Vale. Like, from uh, my experience here, you can get that swirl in the middle there and um, you just got to overcome it. It is, it is, but uh, we have the um, match committee here in force too, of course. We've got uh, Ronnie Summerall and John Dionis, both hard working officials from Bowles, Queensland, uh, in charge of uh, today. So I take my head off to these great volunteers we have, as well as the umpires and the uh, greenkeepers and everybody that. Um, puts in for this great event, and it is a great event, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, state titles, and uh, I was just talking to um, Bowles Queensland the other day, Peter, and they told me that the numbers are up, so numbers are up, that's a great participation rate considering the amount of events on the Gold Coast this year. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah, we've certainly got a very tight calendar. Certainly have, as Dale's playing his first bowl here, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's playing a pretty good bowl, he's going to sit these back ones. Ooh, just around it. So. Oh, he's still there, mate. He just looked like he was going to go through, but uh, just touched Heather's bowl and uh, sitting in a, a great position there. Yes, he certainly is there. So, every really needs another one in the head here, mate. Uh, so, he's just let the delivery go, ladies and gentlemen. He's on his forehand. You can see his bowl coming down here now. So, it's all to do with weight. Seems to be liking it because he's following it, but I think he's going to find he's going to beat it down there. As Dale walks back up the mat, so. An uncharacteristic uh, short bowl there by Eric Dale Hennessy. He normally yeah. plays with a uh, pretty reasonable weight as uh, young Eric, but uh, drop that one a little bit short. He's having a little bit of a look from the other end, as you can see. He just <laughs> he's in front of the <laughs> So then we're going to get in here now. So. As Dale just played his bowl, he's also uh, playing on the forehand. He's got to come round there his bowl, which he's, uh, which has he? Excuse me, he looks a bit shy too, mate. Ooh. It'd be interesting to see 
as the uh, two girls have a good look at their head to see who has got shot there. As I said, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I know that bowl of Jane Bushes looks as though it has shot, but that comes a fair way away, so... Uh, I wouldn't like to call it. I'll let the girls decide <laughs> who's got shot there in the fence. You don't trust the coin? Yes, well, mate, as I've always said, mate, if in doubt, measure it. Exactly. Don't stand there looking at it. No, don't waste time. As we have, uh, Harry said his bowl going now. He's definitely on the forehand, so, uh, you just got to sneak around these, uh, front ones here. Which, uh, is looking pretty good by the looks of it. No, I think he's blowing up smoke again, mate. Mm. Gee, this Eric does not look happy here, so uh, Jane's got a measure now to see actually who's got shot. And uh, let the girls decide. Eric's not happy with himself at all. Right, right. But still a tight game, Brian. Oh, very it's still anyone's game, that's for sure. Uh, that's for sure, Peter. It's a uh, very tight measure, too, but look at this, too. There's. Uh, <laughs> and measure it again, so it's got, it's got to be very close. So, uh, the girls are deciding, of course, who's got shot. Yeah, it must be close, mate. Yeah, it must be very close. Yeah, close. No, it uh, must, must be very close, Peter. They're uh, <laughs> really pretty some work into this one, my friend. So, uh, um, if it's that close, I should just call an umpire. That's <laughs> just, uh, I just heard you, Brian. Uh, <laughs> just, just casting your voice there. Uh, that's, that's how close it is, ladies and gentlemen. You've got two very experienced players in Jane Bush and um, Heather Opton. Opton, yep. Um, Two uh, very experienced players. When they can't decide who's got shot, it is close. That's for sure. As our two hard-working officials go down, I guarantee the first thing they'll do is uh, chuck that bowl of Eric's so it doesn't fall over. And uh, just for your own benefit, ladies and gentlemen, while we're in a bit of a break, uh, this telecast is being brought to you live by the Gold Coast District Media Team and on behalf of Bowles Queensland and the city of the Gold Coast and uh, Bowles Queensland is trying to get as many live streams out as they possibly can to our, to our viewers Peter and um, really get as much Bowles as we can all the way around uh, Queensland mate so it's a, it's a great initiative by Bowles Queensland to uh, utilise the live streaming uh, department and of course a big thank you to Club Helen well for hosting this uh, wonderful event the finals we take our head off to them thank you very much so, uh, we're trying to get out there to as many people as we possibly can. G'day, Alan. How you going, mate? Great to have you on board. Gay Kylie, Lenny, I've been recognised. Gay Vicky, and the Highlanders, the good old Mackenzie Park. I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, that your president is over here watching this uh, fine game that we're bringing you uh, between Eric Johannes and um, Dale McWinnie Shillington. I noticed uh, Dale's brother's turned up to give him some uh, support this morning, so see, Dino just turned up. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, Brian, over the last few days, uh, the number of viewers and where they're from, like Scotland and uh, South Africa, New Zealand, Hawaii, the Philippines, Phuket, and this morning, Canada. Canada's been on board, it's great to have every, everybody on board, and uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you this. So the girls have just made up their mind. It must have been very close. So uh, Eric Johannes, so that will make it 10-9 now. And uh, it be on uh, 13 of the 21 ends that they've got to play, uh, Peter. So uh, still anyone's game, mate. There's only just after halfway, one shot in it. So uh, who knows? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a really hard-fought match. And... Uh, been some fantastic bowls in this match. Yes, well, we now have Heather who will uh, we'll adjudicate what uh, length they want to play, so um, it'll be interesting to see uh, what end she wants to play, what length she wants to play. It's great to have Alex Murder on board. G'day, Alex. Uh, when are you back up home now? Because uh, Alex was down um, playing in the uh, district side. It was great to see you down here, my friend, and um, hope you enjoy the telecast. 
as we're delivering the jack. And G'day Sandra, hi to you too, hope you're enjoying the telecast. I uh, uh, love yeah. bringing it to you, that's for sure. Uh, Heather's uh, dropped the jack about a foot in front of the tea there, Brian. Handy little location, my friend, so it's going to be uh, probably about a three quarter length then there, you'd probably classify that as uh, Peter. Yeah, yeah, I think so, mate. So, um, We'll just uh, let us bowl, get this first bowl, just a little bit strong there, mate, by the looks of it. And I think she's going a bit of ditch by the looks of that. So, Jane, coming in with her second bowl. her second bowl. And uh, Jane's just cut the head there and probably. Oh, probably a couple of metres out from the uh, from the jack there, so Heather on the mat. Great to have um, great to have Vicky on board. G'day Vicky, hope you're enjoying the uh, telecast. And Kane Nelson, brother of Jacob Nelson. At the moment, um, Kane, um, Jacob's down 18 to 9 on 16 ends. G'day Louie, hope you're enjoying the telecast. Of course, Louie was down here with the Sunshine Coast with the district sides. And thank you very much for those kind words, Louie. And I hope you're uh, out there with your uh, business this morning, making a few dollars. Because I think you left a few bucks down here last week, mate. So we've got um, Jane's last bowl, just pointing up just in front of the kitty, probably about 18 inches in front of the kitty, so that's definitely shot. And a uh, couple of uncharacteristic loose bowls there, Peter, from uh, Heather. Uh, <laughs> One in the drink and one about four foot behind the, the head, so... Uh, yeah, not like her, mate. It's not like her at all, my no, friend. So I think no. a couple of these players have had some big days playing bowls, and sooner or later their concentration level has to just drop slightly, Peter. But Eric's uh, playing his backhand, ladies and gentlemen, playing back towards the club rooms away from the car park at uh, Helen's Isle Bowls Club. He's got this pretty well out there. It's just going to depend upon his weight control, which is not too bad at all. This ran through slightly, but it's in a very usable home. Again, I think just looking at that, I would probably favour James Bowl there, I reckon, a shot. As Dale's, uh, he's uh, played good weight with this one. Yeah, just his grass line, mate, you know, just absolutely beautiful. So Eric may even change his hand here now. Yeah, it, um, let's have a look, Brian. No, he's going to stick to his backhand, mate. Well, why wouldn't you? He's played one pretty good one down there, so... Uh, just the other correction. I think he may have just underdone this one, but what's it? Put on a bit of smoke, mate. Yeah, a little bit unlucky there. He's just a little bit unlucky. Hey, Shilo. Should have a green to me, mate. <laughs> As Dale's playing his next bowl, he's got it well out there. Any movement on this front bowl of Jones would be very beneficial for the team, that's for sure. Oh, what a great bowl. Great bowl by Dale. What that's a great bowl. Beautiful bowl there, that's for sure. I wouldn't be surprised with just looking at that there, though. We have Eric calls for a, a, an aggressive bowl here with uh, with Eric and Heather having the two backwards there, uh, Peter. It wouldn't surprise me in the least. So uh, I think if Eric was walking to the head now, I think on the white spot he'd be standing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be standing on the green if I was, if I was there. But uh, anyway, it'd be interesting to see what, uh, what shot Heather's happy with. So it uh, looks as though she's setting up for her forehand, I assume. Yeah, well, uh, Heather and uh, Eric play a fair bit of bowls together, Brian. Okay, well, they must have a pretty good combination, yeah. so uh, we'll see what happens here. Um, what type of shots he plays, whether it's going to be a draw shot or play a little bit of weight. A little bit of weight, mate. Looks that way. A little bit underdone yeah. there. It seemed to come out pretty skew if that one, mate. Oh, my <laughs> God, sorry. <laughs> well, there's no luck in bowls, ladies and gentlemen. None whatsoever. That's pure, pure skill. Pure <laughs> skill. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how they got that one, but anyway, she uh, definitely played that with beautiful weight, eh? Certainly <laughs> did. <laughs> it's all one thing, so. Anyway, this bowls for you. It happens to all of us all the time. Uh, there's a good looking bowl again by uh, Jane, and she's playing fine bowls here this morning. Beautiful lead bowls for, uh, for, for Dale. So, um, again, I don't know. Uh, I think um, Eric's asked Heather just to draw it by the looks of it, by the way he's standing there showing her where Jack High is, so it's uh, very uh, interesting to see how she comes back. Good 
Tim as well. G'day, Jerry. Watching from Dundas Sports, New South Wales. Well, there you go, mate. I was born and bred in Carlingford, mate, just up the road from you. And Heather just uh, promoted uh, Jane's uh, front bowl there. Yep. So it's going to happen when you do. G'day, uh, Ronald. I'm glad you're enjoying the telecast. Maddie Bell, it's always good to have you on board. And uh, Vicky, again, barracking for Jane. Well, good on you. Keep up the... Uh, Keep up the uh, barricade, send it through. Come on, Sheila. Two ladies full of Kalani. You've got banks and hedges to do something. <laughs> Another nice bowl there by Jane, just pulling up there short. But uh, again, like that bowl of uh, Jane, that last bowl could be. Eric will have to go very quick at this now. He can't play with a swinger or, or anything to get it. He's, uh, you know, I'd be surprised if he um, doesn't have a look at it anyway, of his first one anyway. He's, uh, Playing his forehand by the looks of it. He's having a bit of a look at it. That's Here it comes, nice. right? Very close. Just going to get right in. Wow. Look at that great ball by Eric Johannes, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, that's years of experience, and uh, you know that's the difference between him and me, mate. I tell the wife I'm going down for a roll up, mate. I normally spend the time in front of the bar. <laughs> he spends his time out there rolling up, practicing these shots. So. Well, that's a roll up, Brian. Well, it is a roll up, mate. It's, it's very tiring. I do know that. Too. <laughs> but uh, that was a wonderful bowl there, great right? bowl. Dale, I'm not too sure where the bowl finished in the ditch. Must be pretty close, but Dale, of course, he's played this with beautiful weight too, Peter. Just around this front one has definitely got a bit more. Oh, geez, that's unlucky. Yeah, beautiful line there. Yeah, you did. You only need a couple more feet there, mate. Because I'd say at this stage, ladies and gentlemen, as you're fully aware, uh, not 100% sure where the kitty went in the ditch and where Eric Bowl is, but that yellow bowl, I'm assuming, would be second shot by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah. So we'll uh, see what Eric does with his next bowl. He's playing the backhand once again, Peter. So he's. Uh, Got this pretty well grassed and uh, great shot here, ladies and gentlemen. The bowl coming home, so oh, he just pressed into that front one. But uh, Dale, nice. oh, there's there's the great picture there by uh, Robbie. Just changed the camera angle, and there, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Eric's bowl in the ditch. And Dale's played this. Uh, is he going to be around that front one? Oh, he's just crashing. No. Unlucky. unlucky. Yeah, Dale's not happy, but hey, mate, you've been playing great bowls. Don't worry about it, son. Plenty more ends to go. So Heather with Matt. Uh, what's she doing? She's walked up a bit there. See what Eric wants. So Heather's delivery with Jack. And. Let's have a look. We can't quite see where with Eric in front of at the moment, but uh, it's on the tee. It's on the tee. Yeah, quite a long end. Great to have you back on board again, Fiona and uh, John North. Always good to have you on board, John. I know you love your uh, your bowls, and uh, it's great to have you watching from Tweed Heads. And of course, Nola. Uh, yes, the sunshine is here at the moment. They have forecast a bit of rain for today, though. Nola down here on the Gold Coast, but uh, so far we haven't had any. So. Um, Anyway, we see Heather's first bowl here. She's uh, sitting on her forehand once again there, uh, Peter. She's got a uh, reasonable first up lead bowl here. Just sitting in right behind the kitty and probably just uh, probably about eight to eight inches to a foot away from the kitty. So a wonderful first up bowl. But uh, Jane, the way she's been leading, mate, uh, she's expecting <laughs> to beat this because she's been playing some beautiful lead bowls too. These two girls have had a wonderful battle up front. Again, Jane's got a beautifully weighted bowl just uh, in behind the kitty again, once again. So, uh, Dave or uh, Heather there for shot there, Peter? Yes, yeah, certainly, Brian. So, Heather's on the mat. She's got a great swing, this, uh, this girl, Heather. She's a um, she's, uh, practice and um, performed uh, with her arm very, very well. She played in the Nationals last year as a representative of winning the fours for the Queensland Open last year. Oh, very well done for her. So it was a nice finish there. She just sat um, Jane's bowl out of the head, but Jane has another one now. So she's, uh, again, playing the forehand. And uh, I'll tell you what, she's played this pretty well again too, though, Peter. What a lovely lead bowls by these. Well, what a great bowl there by Jane. That's great 
uh, great, great lead in setting up the head like that, isn't it? You know, by the pair of them. So uh, nine times out of ten, when the lead set up a head like that, the skips follow suit. If the lead's a bit better straight, the skips normally. Uh, it's funny how that happens at times, doesn't it? You know, yes, basically, uh, it's a bit like the old saying, follow the lead, I mean, isn't it? You know what I mean? But uh, leads can really set their head up, and quality bowls like that's just beautiful to watch. As Eric again is playing his forehand, ladies and gentlemen, playing back towards the uh, car park at uh, Helensville Bowl Stop. And once again, like his grass line is not too bad at all, so it's just depending upon his weight control, which to me looks pretty good. Just wow. gives it a touch. And. Uh, <laughs> Just goes through the head slightly, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, Dale, of course, straight on the mat. You out of my way. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> like a shot out of a gun, isn't it? Well, <laughs> mate, as I said, it shows you that he's playing with great confidence, mate. Right? And it's just great to see people. Oh, oh. mate, how am I? What a great pill that was. I don't know how he could come through. It just goes to show you that that gap's a little bit bigger than what we can see from here. And uh, that sun's starting to get a bit of bite in it now, too, though, uh, Peter. Yeah, it so, certainly uh, is. It's starting to uh, come out, as you can see. The umbrellas we have over the uh, the other cameras, ladies and gentlemen. It's not because of the rain, it's to keep the sun off the uh, the cameras. So uh, sometimes we have a bit of problem with the heat. As Eric's playing his forehand once again. And uh, again, he may be just a little bit wide with this one, though, Peter. Maybe a bit of a... I'm not too sure, but... Uh, yeah, Dale's got to wait till the ball finishes. Now you can have a go. You can have a go. You can have a go. <laughs> you can have a go. Yeah, so. That's... Uh, Again, he's, uh, he's not far away. You know, he's running in nice. He's, the green's got some beautiful running at now, Peter. Oh, how oh. unlucky is that, mate? He's he just, was two touches and he's one down. <laughs> 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 oh, God, I tell you what, that's, uh, that's not bad bowling. Every's got a touch of there, too, so, you know. In actual fact, not to, well, there are two touches there. One of Eric's, because that first one of Dale's came through the hole, but. Uh, just caught the wrong side of that kitty and he's pushed it into Heather's yellow bow. But the way I read that head, mate, there's uh, you've got one in four there. Yep. G'day, Sue McKenzie. How are you, mate? Great win on Saturday. Well done to the girls from the Gold Coast. G'day, Sue. Good to have you on board. Loves the live streaming. James, you not thought you'd be out playing bowls somewhere, Sue. Okay, Mark, great to have you on board, mate. Heather on the map. Hey, okay, Mark, they play 21 ends in the semi finals. And um, on rink five at the moment, Aaron Sheriff versus Jacob Nelson. It's 20 to Aaron and 9 to Jacob on the 17th end. And I would tell you the score on the other one and how many ends they played, Mark, except for uh, Eric Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Eric and Dale have killed a few ends over here, so uh, and I can show you this much. Uh, Aaron has been killed too much over there because he's not having goals before he had to do the before. He had to just come and grasp him. That's a good thing. 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 That's a good you played before him, got into that yellow bowl, you probably got to play for him. Yes. Jones played this pretty well. I'll tell you what you've got to do. He's kissing into this white one, just like that. Well, you just missed me. We've well, got shot out of that one, but that's a great bowl there by Jones. It really was. Just get the edge of that. And, uh, really does make it very attractive now because um, Dale can actually play his forehand onto that white bowl and punch that yellow bowl straight through that hole there, Peter. Yes, it will. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's trust like this that uh, win, win your games in the end, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, it's the ones that can play uh, slightly dangerous, but uh, they come off. Well, uh, well, Eric's got good away to there, mate. Nice to play. 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 N
Yeah, just there. So that's a, that's a skip that's uh, looking ahead, you know. Yeah, see you playing tomorrow. That's good stuff. Uh, we're live streaming here again, ladies and gentlemen, on Friday. We're doing the uh, semi finals and the finals. But the um, Jibbles uh, should be a fantastic exhibition of bowls. There's so much to have you this morning. A great exhibition of bowls by some uh, great competitors there in um, in Eriton, um, Heather and Jane and Dale. They're really magnificent bowls. I'm sure that Dale's not far from this one. I sort of watched every place with this one. I think he, uh, he's trying to smack those ones again, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's that way, doesn't it? Yeah. It's uh, strange that he's just said, like, Dale can't wait to get a bowl in his hand to play soft because he's full of confidence and keen as mustard. And yet, here he goes. It takes a very experienced bowler to uh, be brave enough to play this one. Like, most average bowler would be up to one shot here, but they don't understand how many of those can go down and Dale plays a bomb with his next one, so Eric, of course, wants to take that uh, shot away from him. So, uh, he's going to get the other ball, but that's it. Bounce. Oh, well, he's got one of them now. So, I think that was going to climb under the water. We go firm enough, I can always get both of them. Dale's punch and he's come back into the ditch too, I think, uh, Peter. So there are quite a few catches there. You have to get Kitty and Charles at uh, the three foot. There's uh, a lot of two issues there. There's quite a few weight from it there. Yeah, my word. You can see he's playing with a little bit of weight. That's for sure. Oh, he's facing this. He's very fast. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I don't know what else ever happened. That's not me, please. <laughs> was, uh, you couldn't have played it any better for the young gun, so you're not lucky there. But anyway, uh, it's one to uh, Eric and Heather. Hope you keep these comments coming in, ladies and gentlemen. If there's any questions, and please, if you can, if you're all on your phones and you're watching this and whatever, can you please share it and get it out there so uh, all of our country cousins and everybody can uh, get and watch this great game of ours. So it's now... Uh, 12.10 to Eric on uh, 15 end, so they're playing the 16th end now, and Heather's thrown a, oh, I think it's probably three-quarter length end, because she's uh, quite a few feet away from the tee, probably three, four foot in front of the tee, ladies and gentlemen, and the mat's halfway up the green on the mat down the other end, so it's, uh, again, you see the leads kind of vary the length all the time, Peter, they're uh, continually working to... Um, to make sure that their opponents don't get themselves into a set routine, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's certainly right, mate. Yeah, There's a lovely start here too by Heather first up. It's uh, just trails him slightly, so great ball. You can't get better than that, can you? You know what I mean? That's a that's a wonderful first up ball. Great ball, that's for sure. So um, there he jumps up. He just sat down for a minute. So he says, "Hello." He goes, "My turn." <laughs> Miss Jane, of course, is uh, yes. Coming to a pretty good home, that bowl, really. I mean, there's any weight under that yellow bowl, and it's going to go pretty close to where Jane just comes with the first bowl. So we'll see what Heather does with her next bowl. And so again, she's sticking to the backhand, ladies and gentlemen, playing away from the car park, back to the club rooms at uh, Helen's Valley Bowl Stop. And you notice the wind's just died too, Peter. Yeah, there's not much there, mate. mate the wind just died. Yeah. It's been blowing a bit here for the last half hour. I guarantee you, about... <laughs> 35 seconds before she played that bowl, the wind just died on it. And it just comes again. Here it just comes again now. So, again, that, that bowl from Heather, though, ladies and gentlemen, is um, probably around about five foot behind the head. And Jane coming in with a second bowl. Yeah, I'm surprised she changed her hand. Yeah. I'll tell you what, she hasn't done a bad job here, though. Yeah, well, what would I know, mate? <laughs> I know, mate? What <laughs> Look at that. What a great bowl. <laughs> Now I know why she changed her hand. Yeah. But see, sometimes too, when that wind is inconsistent like that, and the wind got up, so she's better off playing with the wind than trying to play on the tight line. So yeah. there's a lot of experience in that where players can adapt. You know, like I mean, as you know, most skits will frown upon a lead that changes their hands, you know what I mean? But why would you, when they're playing like that, you know what I mean? They're more than capable. And of course, Jane has skipped teams for, uh, for years, a very experienced player. 
He certainly is, mate. <coughs> certainly, uh, you know, you know that experience comes out when they use the wind to their advantage. Oh, that's for sure. Now, Eric, of course, is playing the tight line here, and again, it's uh, not a bad looking bowl here. <laughs> that's not bad, mate. Not bad. <laughs> No, not bad for a young bloke, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, but, but there is a rumour going round that Eric Johannes is actually younger than Robbie Allen. So there you go. Tell hey, you what, you're pretty brave, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Even the young Robbie. <laughs> Robbie must be out of his shot, is he? <laughs> yeah. I thought he was, but he heard me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. You're in between me and Robbie, mate. Anyway, we have Eric here. Is, uh, yeah, well, I'm shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eric playing his backhand here, ladies and gentlemen, trying to use that wind advantage again, because this is the wide hand, you could say. And uh, he's got it out there, but gee whiz, mate, I think he's underdone. No. You know, he's underdone on that one. So, um, open doors open for Dale, playing his forehand, which is, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, the tight hand. Any movement on those front bowls, or he comes just around him, so, uh, yeah, I think he's underdone too. Yeah, right? looks Unless he gets a slight rub there. Yeah, yeah, no, right. not enough. Not enough there, my friend. No. So, there once again, like I mean, even with his head here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have to favour uh, Dale and Jane because uh, they've got um, three seconds. Hey, Pedro, how are you, mate? How's Mount Larkham? You got those mangoes ready for us, mate? There you go, Pedro. Good to see you. Good to see you. Join the bowls, mate. Great to catch up with you last week. Can you hear the winding up there? Watch the wind up, Pedro. You might be able to give some advice. <laughs> Uh, she's got a great action with the arm. Yeah, she certainly has, uh, Peter. She's played this very well, too. She's uh, great to have uh, Anne on board. And then uh, Dirk, how are you? Yeah. Ryan Stewart. Ryan Stewart, you should be up at Bowles, Queensland, doing some work. G'day, Barbara. How are you? Jane coming in with her bowl now. Heather was a bit long, she wasn't too happy with herself, but Jane coming into that, oh, she's got past, well, she was trying to crack onto that front bunch there, but um, unfortunately she's, she's uh, gone into the ditch. Yes, well, just for those who aren't aware, it's the semi-finals of the uh, Queensland State Mixed Pairs. Uh, these two participants, which is Aaron Sheriff versus uh, Jacob Nelson, um, and of course... It's uh, Eric Johannes versus Dale and Winnie Shillington. It's 21 ends, and the winner of these two games, ladies and gentlemen, of course, go into the final, which will be on this afternoon, which we'll have great pleasure in bringing that to you. It's great to have Brad Harris on board. Of course, Brad, of course, is the hard-working bowls coordinator at the Elgester Bowls Club. They are in the uh, beautiful Cunningham district, so great to have you on board. We have a great bowl there by, uh, by Jane. Um, Jane Bush, she's... Uh, Where'd the kitty go? There is it in the ditch or uh, James Bowl? Yeah, there it is. Yep, it's in the bit, ditch. Yep. Uh, unlike, but she's she's really sprung it open. I, I, I know they're two down, but uh, she's give Dale uh, plenty of room to draw a shot there. With mangoes, good to hear, Pedro. <laughs> How many ends to go, Peter? Well, this in Aaron's team, they're playing the 18th end now. Um, Aaron against Jacob Nelson. The score over there on 17 ends is 20 to 9. And this game here, they're playing the 16th end. And as you see the score there in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. And it's um, it, that's on 15 ends. And this is, of course, the 16th end. And there, once again, playing back towards this way, um, Peter, it's so terroristic. I mean, it's... For Eric to drop that short, maybe that breeze has swung around slightly because, well, just looking at these flags, they're blowing pretty pretty freely here on, um, on the fence here at uh, yeah. Club Helen's Island. Also, the, also the wind, they might be playing back in the wind, so interesting. But anyway, Dale looks as though he's got his bowl uh, away pretty nicely, so I don't think he's going to be short, mate, but what's this? How's his grass? Just coming into view now, mate. Oh, I'm nice. shy, I think. What a bad call by me. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see. Like, that bowl there might be very hard for, 
for Eric to get round here. I think he may have to play his back in. I wouldn't be at all surprised here, Peter. Because that bowl of, uh, last bowl of Dale seemed to pull up right on the line. So, um, anyway, Eric might decide to come round him, but uh, here is now. I think he's going to play his backhand here, ladies and gentlemen. No, I think he has played his backhand too. Dale seems to be looking at the bowl coming in here, so he's very interested in it. And uh, see why he's interested in it. That's a uh, great bowl there by Eric Jones. Trigger bowl. Yes. Oh, there once again, ladies and gentlemen. That is a skill playing to the ditch. And, uh, and I'm sure young Dale is up to the task also too because uh, he's played some great bowls here this morning and uh, from what I've been told he's played some great bowls in the last couple of days so it uh, be very interesting to see if he's going to play the same hand as what Eric played uh, Peter because that last bowl this could be right in his eye so I can tell you he has played his backhand he's followed the same line as, uh, as Eric Great effort. Oh, no, he had the line perfect. Great right effort. He had the line perfect. Gee whiz, that's a shame. It's needed a bit more weight. So it's three to um, Eric and uh, Heather there, Peter. Three shots, yeah. Three shots. So that goes up to 16th end. So they're playing the 17th end now. And then, of course, those rubbies already got up there for you. You beat me to the whistle once again. <laughs> 15 to 10. Uh, It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you this great spectacle here this morning, and we look forward to a, a great final this afternoon, whoever may make it, because there's four quality teams out here playing the semi finals. And uh, when you look through some of the uh, people that, that went through their sections, and that, gee whiz, there's some, uh, some great teams there, Peter. Certainly is, Brian. Yeah, they're uh, about to get onto the map there. Timmy Phillips, how are you, Tim? Great to have you on board, mate. Hard-working uh, administrator from the Sunshine Coast. How's everything when you got back up there, mate? Everything left in place? I know it was great catching up with you guys over the uh, last four days of the district size. Heather with the first bowl here. She, um, she looks to be a bit wide there. Yes, there's uh, yeah, a bit of a loose one there. But yeah. uh, Barbara Green, you're dead right, Barbara. There's some great bowls being played by these four quality players and... James persisting with her forehand, playing back down towards the car park now from the clubhouse end of Club Helen Fire, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that know the uh, the bottom green down here, it's running very, very nicely, I can assure you, with uh, wow. a little bit of wind assistance, <laughs> which just makes it very difficult. <laughs> As we see uh, the hard-working green keepers over there watching the fruits of their work this morning. Lukey Day, Nathan Rice and uh, Michael Turner. Having a bit of a look to see how the green's running. They should be very proud of what they've uh, produced here today, uh, Peter, that's for sure. Oh, that's right, mate. They're uh, hard toilers, as all you green coomers are. Uh, we try, mate, we try. Here's a nice looking oh, bowl. Heather. A lovely correction here by Heather. Oh, what a bowl. Yep. What a great, great correction. Beautiful correction, that's for sure. A bit stiff there, but anyway, that's bowl. It's changing yeah. her bowl in a wonderful location, so uh, that's it. But then again, too, it's again these two girls have, uh, even though Heather's first bar was a bit loose, it, and what the nope. Jane, a crash. Jane just uh, putting a bowl in behind the head there, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, bit of safety, safety there, mate. Bit of safety there, that's for sure. So, um, we have the wind, as we said, ladies and gentlemen. I was just explaining to you how the wind's uh, picking up. We, uh, just had a camera blow over. <laughs> and it's got a, what type of weight is it, Robbie? About a four or five kg weight? Four kilo weight on it. So it's just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, how we were saying before, how the wind's starting to pick up a little bit and starting to uh, come from different directions. So the quality of bowls is absolutely first class considering the conditions. And as you can see, Eric just going to blow a bit of smoke here. He's just going to pull up short. His uh, grass isn't too bad. But... Um, very hard at this, uh, with the wind being as inconsistent as is. But then again, the leads have set up a beautiful uh, head to start up with. As uh, Dale's not looking too bad at all here, Peter. What a great bowl! Oh. Uh, cracked on the headers. <laughs> yeah, the bombs telling us, mate. We're uh, the wind's tracking south southeast at 33 kilometres now, but. I wouldn't like to bet on 33. No, it'll be getting up a bit more now as Eric's having a bit of a look at this head, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, he took Heather's ball straight out of the head. <laughs> but 
the the aisle come up with your shot. Your tracker you got there, Dale. Oh, gee whiz, look at this, Brian. Wow. Beautiful bowl by, uh, bowl by Dale there. The only thing being is that much, I mean, with Eric, though, you actually building a target for him to hit those, yeah. mate. Yeah. Um, like that there, ladies and gentlemen, like, I mean, that, that, that is a good bowl by a fast player, but it really gives Eric something to hit now. I mean, there's one thing I learned many years ago when I was playing regional bowls and playing against these players. When you're playing against Robbie Perella at his best, mate, if you had one shot, look the third shot. <laughs> Do not build a head that he gets smacked. Because <laughs> he didn't miss too many. A bit like Eric. Uh, yeah, true. It's great to have uh, Eric Dickinson on board. G'day, Eric. I'm glad you're enjoying the bowls. And Timmy, yep, mate. If you're down here, mate, I'd uh, even let you buy me a beer, buddy. Uh, there you go. That's how kind I am. Too generous, Brian. I am. G'day, Dave. Good to have you on board. I hope you're enjoying the uh, the bowls that have been brought to you uh, by uh, Gold Coast District Tree. Following with the media committee and the live streaming, it's uh, fantastic to bring it to you. So, you can see the green keepers there. Ooh, Heather with a bit of weight there. Yeah, just missed that one really, mate. It's, uh, you know, you'd be looking for the inside edge of that last bowl of, um, of Dean's, uh, of Dean of Dale's, I think so. I get these boys mixed up all the time, one day I'll get it right. <laughs> Jay's going to blow yeah, a bit of smoke yeah. here. It's not my Jay, but anyway, it's, at the moment, it's still in the count. <laughs> you can't argue with that. No, no you certainly can't. Uh, I think there is calling more for a draw shot now, mate. I think he wants to face one, so uh, I'm not too sure. I think he said draw. So yeah. we we'll see what type of shot Heather plays anyway. She isn't um, normally indicative of a backswing, mate, to, to what mm. she plays, so it uh, won't be as... Uh, we, uh, Lesser weight shot, and you're right. It looks like she looks like she's got the draw there, and um, she just got a break, mate. It's not breaking off that track. No, no, that's more uh, controlled weight shot. Yeah. Mate. So Eric in a bit of trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. He took out his uh, possibly second shot, and um, he'd be at least four down. And James got this one here very well pointed too. It runs out. Uh, it could be a bit of a nuisance yeah. bowl there, though. Could be a bit of a nuisance bowl. Could be in the eye there. So this live streaming by Bowles Gold Coast Tweed Media Team is brought to you by Bowles Queensland and the City of Gold Coast. Yes, it's a great initiative from Bowles Queensland, Peter, to uh, bring you the uh, finals from these uh, great events and uh, trying to get bowls out for all over Queensland, all over as many places we can hit and as you said before, it's going all the way around the world. So as we have Eric having a real good look at this, he's close. Bang, bang. <laughs> well, he got the ball I thought he hit, but he <laughs> didn't get the result I thought he would. I uh, think that was a, a great ball by Eric, but yeah. he's, still, uh, he's still in a bit of trouble here, mate. It's he is. He is, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what he plays with his next ball, where he keeps attacking or he decides to go back and... Because uh, he has got around about, what, though, I'd say, three foot to, to draw second shot. And, He's more than capable of doing that, isn't he, you know? So, yeah. Uh, be interesting to see anyway, see what Dale does, and uh, that'll probably make up his mind on his next bowl. So, he's, I know he's very interested watching Dale's uh, bowl here, and i tell you what, he's uh, played this pretty well. Yep, that's, that's a good bowl. Good bowl that, doesn't, that doesn't fatten the target. That's, no. that, that, is a, that is a good bowl. I think he might be going again. Yeah, he's pretty... Uh, Pretty pinty on the net there. Ooh. No, he's drawing it. He's drawing it. We'll see how his weight is here after having a couple of runs. I think it could be in front of James Bowl here, and he's into James Bowl. Well, oh, got a bit of a rub, but he'd still be probably four down, I'd say. Yeah, it looks like it. And you've got to look at the lines, and you can judge between the distances on the lines there. It's still before then, so he had to be just around that bowl there of James, which I said could have been a nuisance bowl. He certainly did. And, uh, yeah. yeah, just stuffed it. So, uh, yes, so I said, mate, it puts uh, Jane and Dale right back with Dale with another bowl to play. So, uh, could be another shot here, mate. Could be another shot, yeah, so that's for sure. So, um, I'll tell you what, he's, he's played this pretty well too, the young bloke. 
Yeah, great bowl by Dale. Not a good bowl. So, by right, that should be locked up at uh, 15 all. There's no more than that, mate. Yeah. Look at all they want, mate. <laughs> well, <laughs> Eric and Dale had already looked at me and, <laughs> and gone forward, so, you know. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, over on that next rink, on the, on the uh, 19th end, it's 20 to Aaron Sheriff and his mother-in-law, Liz Walton, against um, Jacob Nelson and Jessica Samurai. That was close. <laughs> 20 to 12. There's great pictures there by uh, by Robbie Allen can zone in on that. But we have a real tight match here now, ladies and gentlemen, where uh, Jane Bush is bringing the mat right up to the uh, 21 metre mark, Peter. Yeah, and now this is quite a skill in, in rolling this where it's not short and it's not long. And I tell you what, she's done a pretty good job. Oh, how far up on the line is she? Oh, interesting. No, no, it's going back, not going, yeah. throwing it back. And unfortunately, Heather started throwing bowls up there, so they're going to kick them all back. So, what uh, did you say before? Yes, mate, you always wait, you always wait. It would have been close, though, but I think she was right up on the line. Yeah. So she would have been a good uh, two and a half, three, three foot short as the uh, crowd cover just starts coming in, ladies and gentlemen. But what a turnaround that last end was, though, Peter. Oh, it certainly was, mate. It makes it uh, now a very, very interesting game. 15 all. On the 17th end, so we've still got the business end of the game to go, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, Heather rolls the kitty to the tee, and uh, probably around about a three-quarter length end, I think, Peter. Yeah, by the looks of it, as Heather plays her first bowl, playing back towards the club rooms at uh, Hammersville Bowl Stops, she's playing her back end. Uh, Looking very well grassed anyway. It's just going to be a little bit light on on weight, but a nice first up bowl. But, uh, plenty of room there, that's for sure. And they're coming in with her bowl. Her yellow bowls. Eric seems pretty happy with this. Yeah, he's not a bad track at all. Just in behind the head yeah. there, which is, you know, pretty uh, pretty handy bowl there, that's for sure. Christine Mousy, is that you or is that Gary sneaking your iPad? G'day, Fairly, good to have you on board again. And g'day, Ian, I'm very glad you're enjoying the, bo the bowls. And go thunder, she says. So that's uh, Barrington for Jane, which is Lauren and Barbara, yes. New South Wales plays Tets, do they? Yeah, well, we, we played sets many years ago up here, Barbara. We tried it, and we only tried it for one year. It was well before my time as a director of Bowls Queensland. It was a great initiative at the time when sets was very popular, but it wasn't very popular with the players. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just for the one year and one year only, and they went straight back to the conventional game of, uh, of what they're playing today. As uh, Heather just gets a little slide off that bowl. So just a little bit underdone on grass line. So uh, Heather be holding two shots there, but I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, that um, shot has not been played yet. So as the two skips are going to the uh, to the mat, and, uh, very tight game now. So as I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now uh, 15 all on the 17th end. As uh, Dale got first bowl and uh, going to play his back end. and uh, he's got it out there pretty well. So it's just going to be on weight control now. Tell you what, money don't zip. Don't even reach it. Oh, it's running. Yeah, it's just going to pull up. Oh, gee whiz, that's a beautiful line there, Peter, for what he was after. Certainly is, mate. We'd like to thank Host Club, Club Helen's well, the place to be, for making their facilities <coughs> available for these 2019 state championships. Yes, no, that's for sure. As Eric's coming around this front one, mate. What a beautiful bowl here by Eric Johannes. Great track. Yeah, beautiful track there. Oh, what a bowl, mate. Yeah. Superb bowl. Dale's just got to come around his front one there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's yeah. pretty well grasped. He's got a good track, mate. He certainly has. Well, well look at this. Well, he's just going to oh. miss it. Yeah, what a great try, then, mate. Certainly was. Yeah, so we'll see you, Eric. Uh, 
how his memory is these days, mate. <laughs> He's got it out there again. Oh, I think it's certainly out there, that's for sure. So we're just waiting for the skip. We just got a few little, yeah, just got a few little problems here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, our technical technician just going down. Just the wind, just the wind getting up as good as gold. So uh, he's just got a bit of work. I like that ball, Eric. Oh my! Eric's having a bit of a chimney to us here, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes up into the smoking lounge. <laughs> he comes up into the smoking lounge. <laughs> He's not smoking, this is where the drink bubbler is. Uh, this is where the drink bubbler is, ladies and gentlemen. So, with uh, Jane's first bowl, she's going to get a straightener? Oh, oh, dear, that was very close. But anyway, just ran through. That gives him two two best backwards there, uh, yep. Peter. So, uh, see what um, Heather plays here. You see that wind picked up again, mate? That camera. That back camera there is going down. Yeah, it's... Uh, so it's that gusty, that real gusty, strong bruise. Certainly, it's the, the flag's over here, though, Peter, on the edge of the uh, fence here. It, it just died for a little bit. You're yeah. in the middle of green and blowing your goals. They're just playing a backhand, ladies and gentlemen. She's uh, got it pretty well out there, so we're just going to see what her weight control is like. She's going to be around this one. She's getting around there, mate. Yeah, I think Eric showed her. She's just yeah. using... She's using Eric's line, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, Good advice, Eric. <laughs> so, uh, as he just gets his glass of water, which that is very uh, thirsty work out there today, with it being uh, the sun comes out, it gets quite warm. <laughs> now the cloud cover comes over. And this is the beauty about playing outdoors, isn't it, Peter? The conditions are changing all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right, mate. Then you've got to, uh, you've got to change your... Uh, your mental approach when the conditions change. Yeah. Lovely bowl there by Jane, Jane Bush. Uh, Jack High. Um, I'm not too sure if it's yeah, maybe second shot. I'm not too sure on that one, ladies and gentlemen, because of the camera angles. So as Heather's playing her second bowl, and um, I think she may be quite running the strife here, mate. Yeah. Just the edge. Yeah, there's a little bit unlucky there, but that's really opened it up for the uh, skips now, though, uh, Peter. So it'll uh, be interesting to see. So uh, as the young Dale walks to the head, he's had a bit of a look at the uh, at the head, and he's walked down. He seems to be uh, pretty confident in what bowl he wants to play, mate. So uh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? He doesn't spend too much time on that mat. No, he's he's still having a bit of a look, though. But anyway, he's made up his mind. Uh, I think he's going to play his uh, black end, which he is, yeah, because that's been opened up nicely for him now. So he's got a lovely draw down there. Oh, mate, I just don't think he's out there. Mate. No. It looks like the other game's finished on the other rink too, Brian. Has it? Yeah. Well, well we've won him to play, obviously, Aaron. Yeah. He's leading by more than eight, so I assume he must have won the last end. So uh, it's great to see uh, Jesse and Jacob make it as far as they did in this great event, ladies and gentlemen. But... Uh, Aaron Sheriff has won that one with his mother-in-law, Liz Walden, so uh, they will be in the uh, final, waiting to see who they're going to play in the final, Peter. So <laughs> it's, uh, we'll see who they're going to play in the final between these four great competitors. So, uh, and of course, the final, of course, ladies and gentlemen, will be brought to you live stream at uh, 1 p.m. Uh, it's on the same green, of course, so uh, as Eric has got this pretty well grassed out there, Peter, he's got he's played this pretty well. Great ball. Great ball. Oh, that's a beautiful ball there by Eric. As Dale's having a bit of a... He's come down. He's not coming all the way down. He's come a little bit down. He's having a little bit of a look at the head and asking a few questions of Joey. And, uh, he's still drawing, though, uh, Peter, which is still on, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. He's such a beautiful draw bowler too, Dale, when he's in the when he's in the mood. So uh, I tell you what, he's played this pretty damn well, mate. Look at this for a bowler. Oh, wow, gee whiz, that's unlucky. Yeah, it is, mate. That's yeah. unlucky. He's just got the wrong side of that bowl. Well, Eric's still got that one bowl to come. 
We uh, had a just said to Eric, we've got two in a measure. So that would be a yellow bowl would be the measure I'd suggest there. I wonder if Eric's going to try and set Jane's bowl out of the head there. Uh, be interesting to see what type of shot Eric plays yeah. here today, Peter, because the shot's on and it's there. But uh, he's, he might be just drawing. It's a little trail's worth a few too, isn't it? You know what I mean? Not a big trail. Well, he has made it three anyway, if I look that. One in, one out, mate. Yeah, one in, one out, mate. One. Two. I think they may put a measure on this one. Yeah, it might uh, be a stretch. Maybe a stretch. Yep. Yep. As I said to you before, ladies and gentlemen, when in doubt, <coughs> put a measure on it, that's for sure. Have uh, we got a few people on board? So we have the Hodgson down there measuring. Could be the third shot, but uh, let's see what's produced. Great to have Gail Wado on board. How are you, Gail? Hope you enjoy the telecast. Or is it Mar? Let's just grab your iPad. Barbara, I know you're enjoying the game. David, yes, it's great to bring it to you. Okay, Chrissy Pavlov, great to have you on board. Hey, Jess, how you going? You're at Mermaid tomorrow, I think. Jess, all the best for that. I hope you go well. Clinton Bailey, shouldn't you be at work? Uh, Fraser, yeah, great suggestion, mate, but uh, we do have a 30-second delay just in case the language, um, not by us, but by the players, comes out when they've played a couple of bad shots. Yeah, how does he do it? Well, you tell me there, uh, Barbara, he's, uh, he's a pretty good player. Okay. Ian Law, how are you watching, mate? It's good to see you. Would you trust me with the microphones on? Depends on who it is, Fiona. <laughs> Heather just delivered the jack, it's sitting on the It's, uh, yes, it's uh, pretty much a oh, three-quarter length. I, I classify it as three-quarter yeah. length anyway because the mat's halfway up the uh, line, ladies and gentlemen. So we are just uh, we just had a camera blow over, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we're persisting on this end. We've had two cameras blow over, so uh, that's how strong the wind's getting here. It's really coming in gusts. That's a lovely first up bowl here by Heather. A great lead bowl, probably pulling up possibly oh, two feet, two and a half feet short, but right on the line. So that makes uh, Jane have to come round that bowl now. So yeah, look, she's um, that wind coming across. You just oh, I can feel it. Yeah, just to feel that wind blowing now, can't you? It's really even giving you ears. So uh, that uh, yeah, a little bit runny by uh, Jane. That's fake, ladies and gentlemen. That bowl just fell in the ditch. So. Uh, you know, Jane has led so well throughout this game and she just, uh, I think a bit of a breeze just behind them the way they're going, Peter. I think the breeze is more behind them at the moment. No, I think I've made a mistake there, mate. I think they might have had a dead end over there on Aaron's, um, Aaron's rink. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, 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 they are too, mate. Yeah, they're, no. they're still playing. And a beautiful correction here by Heather. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, well, they seem to be packing everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I've that way. And now they'll say they come back. So Might be the second game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. But anyway, there's still eight shots in it and two ends to play. And uh, young Jacob and uh, Jessica, mate, I'd never write those to us. But no. when you're playing quality like Aaron and his mother and all those, he's played very, very well today. So a beautiful correction here by Jane. Uh, see that, uh, yeah, she's picked up second shot by the looks of that. Yeah. By the looks of the camera. But... Uh, yeah, I think that wind's just, it's really gusting. <laughs> Robbie's just been out there, it's blowing the gale out there. Because it's moving, yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's just blowing so much out there, so it's really funny. It was an absolutely magnificent morning here for bowls, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's, uh, now it's turned to a, a day where you'd prefer you'd be uh, playing on an indoor green somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, Eric's about to play his bowl, so... Uh, He's going to be playing, oh, he's playing his backhand there, Peter. Yeah. It's a bit surprising with this uh, bowl of James on the run run there, but uh, I think Eric's played this pretty well. If he's just sneaks under it, no, no he's going to run into it. Yeah, anyway, that's... Uh, hey, Bob's certainly doing a good job out there holding the umbrella. He certainly is, he certainly is. He shows how strong that wind is. Yeah, Jackie, that's a true statement. He's going all right. He's playing good bowls, love. Good bowl there by uh, Dale's. Definitely got second shot there, that's for sure. 
Thanks, Weston. Very much appreciate it. Uh, great commentary. Thanks, uh, Susan. Appreciate that. And Ruth, uh, glad you're enjoying the telecast. So uh, enjoy it. As Eric's just a little bit underdone with this one, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, weight was beautiful. I said underdone. I meant grass wise. And uh, yeah, maybe, well, it would be third shot anyway, I assume. So just the way it is there. But the camera angles here can be a little bit uh, deceiving at times. As uh, Dale's got this very well grass, just to pin on his weight control. You, know, you might just want this in, you know, he's it out. So he's put Eric into a pretty good spot there. So uh, we'll um, see what uh, the two leads are going to do now. As we've got uh, the wind really early starting to get into where we are, ladies and gentlemen. And we're down uh, on the bottom green, way up the far corner. Uh, the rest on end of Club Helen's Vale, for those of you who know the facilities here. And even the wind's getting into us, so we're right back on the, uh, we're right back on the, uh, oh, we're under the veranda, mate. under the veranda, yep. so, uh, but even the wind's starting to swirl in here, so it's uh, becoming quite, uh, quite strong, mate, as Heather steps on the mat, she's going to play her forehand, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the wind does with these, uh, with these ones, mate, so. Yeah, Eric, so, certainly gets swirly right out there in the middle. That's for sure. And then you get the influence from Discovery Drive here, and, uh. Tell you what, he's just played this well. Uh, it's not a bad looking bowl, is it? Good look. Well, look at this. Oh, oh right. what a great bowl. Lovely bowl there by Heather. Wind drop. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that. That's, that's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the wind has stopped. It's, uh, yeah, it's really. Uh, I mean, I play it quite often, but I've, I've never seen it be so inconsistent as it is here today. I'm talking about the wind, of course, not the bowlers. Bowlers are playing, uh, they're playing magnificent bowls here this morning. Windy Hill might be in strife. <laughs> yeah, I played there often enough too, mate. I'll tell you that right now. The old Windy Hill always lives up to his reputation. Certainly does. Yeah, no, I was surprised through the distance size there last week. You know, a few days up there, there was no wind at all. And uh, nothing had distance on the because the, uh, the rain plays were struck. Yeah, no, the conditions there were fantastic, don't you? Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, uh, John, thank you very much for sharing that on... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the telecast. Good day, Eric. I'm glad you enjoyed it. She is a great day. Very good 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 day. Young Dale, so 
I'm not too sure who's got struck there in this phase, so, though. Uh, there's no indication. I'm afraid it has to be Eric the way uh, Dale has been involved. Set up! And he's put the ball in, but I think he's done the same. That's right. Get your own. No indication what's the flip of the head he's got stuck, so. What did you say to him earlier? They're going to help us out? They're going to help us out? Okay, you can get some indication, so. Anyway, we've got a pretty good tip to put me on there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll probably find out who's got stuck anyway by what type of stuff you're supposed to do. Um, I'd probably say to that yellow gold there, uh, really for stock, the, uh, the back end of the game. We'd say to that probably, and, uh, then, of course, I think we have to be playing for sport. He's got uh, two bowls in on the run there, and only needs a little bit of movement to uh, feel that for himself. So, uh, there, I think when he stays with the class and his appearance in the national isn't it? Like, I mean, the big foul is gone, but he plays through the head, and turns up the head, and he's in you. Even though he had shot waves at the end, but the head was playing great by the end. What a ripper. And he knew that it, the head faded then. Yeah. So, it takes a lot of. Uh, Knowledge to change the head, particularly in a big game like this. When you're in a semi final of a state of you, you've got to start this. I'm not going to change the head. I'm going to put this kid back 12 inches or whatever. And exactly what he did was a uh, fast act by a fast bowler, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, take nothing away from young Dale. He's played very, very well. And so is Jane. They've both played great bowls. It's been a great game of uh, mixed pairs here this morning. Highest level. Uh, Max and Stuart, great to have you on board, Max. Good to see you join the guys, mate, and I uh, hope you're getting better soon as this one. G'day, Stephen. How are you? Great to have you on board. Start with uh, a member of uh, Heaven's Rock Bowls Club. And Matt, great to see that you're joining the Bowls. Uh, I'm going to be driving, mate. Oh, he's got a bowl. Oh, he's got a bowl. He's got a couple of them. I can't get out of the tank. You've got the answer to his answer. No, mate. Right. Yeah, just change that head around. Yeah, yeah mate, yeah, yeah. 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 Certainly that uh, experience flows through, doesn't it? Well, it does. You know, it's, uh, and that's the fact we had a bit of a uh, pick up on the other end too, because now they're on the 20th end, and uh, young Jacob's picked up a few shots. It's now 20 to 15. We've won in the play, so, uh, you know, great little pick up there. So, it's uh, definitely playing the last end, so. Uh, they're on the 21st end now, and uh, again, I think, uh, I think um, Aaron's mother-in-law, Liz, has placed some great bowls over there by lots of it. Uh, every time I look at her, she's got a bowl uh, in the head, close to it, or, you know, she seems to be a very consistent player, so... Uh, she goes with the first bowl, yep. on her back end, playing back towards the top rooms. And again, she's got it pretty well grass, 50 penny on her way, just going to be a little bit under. Not a bad first up lead no, bowler. And uh, Jane, he's led very well this morning too. Both these girls have led up very well. They've had a great battle up front for the two boys. And uh, they've still got a few wins to play though, uh, Peter. They've still got two wins to play. This yep. being the 20th end. And Jane, Jane, of course, has got a beautiful bowl sitting in here. Just uh, probably 18 inches, two foot just behind the kitty, but right on the line. So, uh, great first up bowl. As we have um, Heather, the other correction is our game, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we'll see what she can do. I think she's further out there now. So uh, it's just going to be her weight control, which I think is looking pretty good at the moment. I know Eric's starting to tap it, so he's happy. What a bowl. And why wouldn't you be happy, Eric? Oh, what a bowl, mate. Beautiful bowl. Great, bowl. great correction, Heather. Beautiful correction there, mate. So uh, again, Jane just got to put another one just in behind the hill, as close to it as she possibly can. Great to have uh, Matt on board. Hope you enjoyed the game. And uh, Dave Baker, shouldn't you be at work, my friend? It's always good to have the Highlanders watching. G'day, Nick. I'm glad you enjoyed the bowls, my friend. 
as at the moment on the uh, playing the 20th end, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's one to uh, the team of Eric Johannes. Like that too, right? To uh, great ball there by Eric just in behind the head, and of course uh, Heather put a put a put a uh, great ball there just in front of the uh, right of the line. So great ball. Dale trying to draw it off. Says a good there to uh, Aaron and uh, Liz by the looks of things. Not too sure on the final score, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I can just tell you that this day that this looks like was a win to uh, Aaron. So he's definitely in the final, and I'm waiting to see who he's going to play against with these two uh, sides having a great tussle out here this afternoon. And said this plays another oh, great ball, another great ball there by uh, Heather. She's uh, they got three shots in the head there, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, three pretty reasonable shots too, uh, uh, Peter. So yeah, uh, great, well-weighted shot by her the last one. Well, Just sitting next to uh, Eric's ball. Yeah, it's be interesting. Like Jane, I think she can really only play a backhand here because uh, if she happens to get that yellow ball and get Kitty, it's going to be favour to Eric and um, and Heather there. So. She sits his yellow bowl though, mate. There's, uh, yeah. She's going to have a few. Tell you what, she's pretty close with it. What a great bowl. What a bowl, was. mate. What oh. a great bowl there by Jane. So, you know. <laughs> Technical director, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> there is a noise coming out of the drinking fountain. <laughs> As... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Heather is just about to play her forehand here. She's uh, listened to her Skip's great advice. And uh, any movement of the kitty here, uh, Peter, is very beneficial to uh, to Eric and Heather. She could be a little bit wide with this one, though, mate. Yeah, I think so. But I tell you what, she played a good ball because she's gone right round the back. Well, I'll provide a bit of cover back there, mate. Well, Eric now, of course, would have uh, two if not three best backward by the looks of the three arguably depending on which way the kitty went but definitely two best backwards so uh, I'm sure Eric has got options but, uh, Jane again is just going to be a little bit under but she's going to touch his front bar oh oh I just missed it Dude, that was unlucky mate that could have um, could have been promoted there Eric's having a good look at the head yeah. though, ladies. He, has, he has a few options there like he can rather attack attack it and anything could happen or he could probably just Pretty hard to draw under it with that front bowl waist position, you know. But uh, I was talking about on his forehand, but he stopped around. He's had another look from down there, but anyway, he's uh, walking again now. He's had a couple of looks at it to see what he's uh, what he's keen to play on, ladies and gentlemen. So, and uh, I wouldn't dare uh, suggest what Eric might play because he's <laughs> far more experienced than what I'll ever do. Didn't we make a bet the other day until it's within a foot of the jack we weren't going to call it? Well, that's <laughs> so true. Great to have Julie Allen back on board. G'day, Julie. Yeah, he's playing that shot. I thought he may not have played because of that front ball. Yeah. But what would I know? Look at this for a ball. Wow. Well. Oh. One down. <laughs> One down, yeah. What a great ball. <laughs> oh, what a ball. What a ball, mate. Like, I mean, uh, just that's a class, you know what I mean? Brendan Hill, thanks for that. 25-15, but that's we won in the play. So uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure Aaron won that game. G'day, Kane Nelson. Great to have you back on board. G'day, Fiona. How are you, Shilo? Come on, mate. Surely you've got to bring <laughs> something on, mate. Yeah, Barb is still enjoying the telecast. Don't know what his first ball, mate. Uh, let's see what he's going to do here. Bad, 
track. And it's pretty English today. Yeah, great ball there by Dale. Oh, probably, uh, probably fourth shot. G'day, rest here. Well, you've got to uh, stay there for the pennants to see how they go. But uh, anybody that's coming up to the Gold Coast and um, if you want to have a yarn to us when we're live streaming, just come over and introduce yourself to us, uh, probably when we're not on air, but I'd uh, love to meet up with you and uh, get your views on what we can do to improve and uh, what what you'd like to see more of, because we're all open to suggestions, we may not take them up, but at least we're open to suggestions, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're always after improving our live streaming and uh, we're very fortunate to have a very good technical uh, technician in Robbie Allen on our side, so he's... Eric's having a real good look at this head, though. Uh, it's be interesting to see what he's going to play here, mate. Yeah, yeah. the um, like, like five up, one end to play. Is one down enough? Well, knowing Eric, I think he'll be looking for shot. He's playing it with pretty good weight. I think he's kind of playing this front bowl here just to spring that bowl far enough to come back to him. Not quite. Not, not quite. But he's only one down, so uh, <laughs> keep <it off. laughs> like, can't play the perfect ball all the time <laughs> as, as he hits his leg as he walks past. But gee whiz, he's played uh, he's played some big bowls, hasn't he, Peter? You know what I mean? He certainly has, mate. He's played some big bowls. Certainly has. Um, uh, we're just discussing discussing with uh, Jane what he's going to do there. He's having a good look there, mate. Taking a bit of time. Well, there again, like I mean, you got. Uh, a great young player in Young Dale who's, uh, you know, up and coming, going to be a, in our game for a great many years. And of course, you've got an experienced skip in Jane, so you've got a pretty good combination there, haven't you? You know what I mean? Yeah, mate, you certainly have. John Bowles, okay, mate. Take that on board. Thank you for that. <laughs> we'll look at that for uh, the next game. As our technical uh, technician just has a bit of read of that and see what he can do. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, the way it's set up at the moment, yeah. Yep. Yep. Once the final goes up the top, I've been told that, that the ends will be up there, John. So, very well taken. Mate, we always love uh, hearing from our viewers on how we can improve the telecast. So, is Anybody's got any um, constructive criticism, please fire it through. We'll try our best to uh, to ratify it to help you out, ladies and gentlemen. That's for sure. Yes. Why it's set up like this here, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm being informed, is that the names are too long, so we couldn't put it up the top. So it's the reason why the ends aren't there, and hence the reason why we're telling you it's 2016 on the 20th end. Cheers, John. Well done, mate. So, uh, as we had uh, Jane, believe it or not, just ready to get in the dip. So, uh, it then comes back to uh, to Heather. And, of course, uh, Peter, she's taking the mat three quarters up the green. Uh, not up the green, but up the line once again. On yeah, the okay. So, she's going to shorten it by the looks of things. Now, how hard is it to roll the kitty with one of those bowling arms, Peter? Pretty awkward, mate. Is it? Yeah, it is. It, some of them um, uh, are not really designed to hold the, the jack in certain instances, but that's where um, uh, you've really got to be extra careful how you place it in the yep. in the shoot. Um, the one that probably has been a little bit more innovative is the uh, DHP, which has got the, the clip that comes down, which the jack sits in. Oh, okay. So you fold that down and put the, put the jack in it. So yes. that, but it. But it is awkward um, uh, to do. Yep, so we have there Jane's first bowl there. It's probably sitting about door, about three foot behind the head. But once again, right on the line there, though, uh, Peter, like yeah. again, the grass line's been absolutely beautiful most of the game. There's only been a few, uh, a few loose bowls. Oh, there you go, John. I've <laughs> 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 got up there for you already, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> uh, as uh, Heather's played her first bowl here, it's a good looking first up bowl. It's going to pull up just a tad short, probably a couple of feet. So I'd say it'd be one to Heather at this stage, but uh, I can guarantee you that shot has not been played. So uh, uh, quite confident on that one. Jane's got this. Uh, I'll tell you what, if she picks it up, no, she's no. just going to go under, mate. And um, 
Yeah, it's got a couple of backward there, so there's the opportunity. I mean, there's one thing that uh, the bowlers that don't play the game too often, Peter, like when you've got to pick up four on the last end, there's no prizes for being short, is there? You know what I mean? Certainly not, mate. There's no prizes, mate. You've got to be, uh, you've got to give your skips the opportunity to um, to do something. And uh, at the moment, like me, even though everybody might say, oh, James bowls are back towards the uh, ditch, well, probably good reason for that, you know, because it gives uh, his skips somewhere to where he can pick up a multiple. And uh, one thing, you'd like to have his last bowl there, Peter would have been a great bowl. He was three foot behind the, the kitty, wouldn't it? You know, yeah, it certainly would have been. It uh, uh, would have been a great advantage for them. That's for sure. Dale keeps trying to build his head to see uh, to see what can happen, and he's just done exactly what I said. Yeah, it surprises me because he's played so well. Maybe a little bit excited there, seeing James bowl back there. But anyway, the art of correction—that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. But I think Eric will probably try and get one very, very close and then put one in behind the head. But then again, too, I must be, I might have been a bit harsh on Young Dog because that cloud cover's come over and, uh, yeah, that green really looks like I can slow down with that too, mate. Yeah, mate, it could have done. See, so they're just, they're just um, pulling up. Now, yeah. now the sun's coming back out. Now the sun's coming back out. Yeah, what Dog's played this pretty well, mate. Looking ball, yeah, he's got this. Oh, it up, mate. Uh, yep. There you go, three shots. One, two, three. Thinks James bowls into play. As you were saying, then three of uh, three of their bowls are out of the equation now. So, as I said, it gives the skip something to play to. As there is persisting on his forehand here, ladies and gentlemen, playing down towards the uh, car park. Oh, I think he's throwing this one a bit wide. Oh, I think so, mate. I don't think he's too happy with himself. No, that's uh, see advantage comes to Jane and uh, and Young Dale with this one. As I said, by Jane putting those two balls in behind the head there, and as I said, ladies and gentlemen, like everybody may have said that gee whiz, they're a bit uh, bit long, but it actually gave uh, Young Dale something to play to, and they need four for a draw, and they're only three pretty reasonable shots here, but. I still don't think shots been played yet, though, Peter. I think the bowls are just a little bit too far out of the equation when you've got such quality players yeah. as we have out here playing today. It's, uh, you know, like James, just uh, all she's got to do is put one close, and that adds more pressure to the uh, to the other team, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it sure does, mate. Now let's see what she's done. She's around this pack, mate. She's in the area. Uh, what do we is she's around the pack. Yep. So that's four shots. So I wouldn't be surprised if Heather plays her backhand here instead of the forehand, though, uh, Peter. Cause I think it's uh, a bit of a tighter line on the backhand. There's wind coming across the green here. And it's, uh, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting to get up once again. It's uh, right down for, for a short period of time. But uh, she's got this one. And she's here. That's a very bad bowl. Mm -hmm. This is very like it's basically important that James, even if she moves kitty slightly, it really does put the pressure on the opposition. Oh my word, it's a, it's a major event, it's a state title. I'll tell you what, James made this very, very well. That's one of the beautiful bowls. That's five shots, so. At the moment, they're one in front, Peter. They certainly are. And this um, here will have a thick tap on here. Well, it really does put the pressure on Eric, to, uh, which I know is very capable of doing. But uh, you know, when you've got one ball in the head, mate, it's easy to get one out. But Eric's played this pretty well, I've watched it. She's uh, stuck to the back end. Um, I think she's got more than weight on it than her last one. Oh, what a beautiful direction. What a ball, mate. What a beautiful direction. Dale's a bit excited though, so he's one, one ball in the next five and he's running down the head. Give me my ball. What is it? Just calm down, son. You've got plenty of time. Oh, what a great ball by Heather. That's a, that's, that's a great ball there by Heather. And that's up to, uh, as I said, now Dale has to play the shot. I'm sure he's more than capable of playing this shot. Let me put Kitty in the disc from here. He's going to have five shots if he sticks with the Possibly seven. 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 Looking for the kitty? Yeah, he's traveling. Oh, 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 oh
very, very close. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was any possible third shot here, Peter. I don't think he'll go too close, but I think he'll try and put something around about third or fourth shot, I'd say. And uh, that way the kitty does go backwards. Um, you know, it's, uh, he's over covered, so I don't think he'll pull up short anyway. Let's say that. But anyway, we'll see what he's about to play, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, he's playing his back end also. He's got a very well grasp on the of it. He likes it, he's running down after it. <laughs> oh, well, what a shot. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when a Swedish international plays a ball. Great ball. But uh, again, Dale's got the opportunity here. Didn't both out the head, mate. Oh, yes. Yeah, he looks at Kitty in the dish. I tell you what, he's close. Nice. He's close. Oh, wow. Oh, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. What a great game of balls, ladies and gentlemen. It's an uh, absolute fast game of bowls. So oh, it's going to be a uh, Eric Johannes versus Aaron Serra final, which would be uh, what a fantastic game of bowls that would be, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'll be coming back on here at uh, roughly round about 1pm uh, with our technical advisor. Julie's still awake, love. He just nodded his head. He's still awake. He's doing a great job. He really is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that game. It was a colossal game of bowls between four great competitors, highly skilled, that played great bowls. So uh, the final between Aaron Sheriff and Eric Johannes will be starting around about 1 o'clock. So from the live streaming team, uh, we'll take a break now and go and have a cup of coffee and look forward to being back on air to uh, bring you a <laughs> great coverage this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, look forward to having you back on board. Get out of it, Jeff. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian.